Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Why do you care? If you saw a bunch of tiny magical creatures and they drew you a doodle, you wouldn't care? What is the capacity before the clerics come? Chowinga! Chowinga, Chowinga! <laughs> Where do you get that drink? I don't from? know. I bought it like one time. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is an omen of. Shut up! Shut, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back Hi. to Tabletop Notch. We're coming at you with chapter 21. From Kahlo. Ooh, drinking age, baby. Here we go. <laughs> oh. We are obviously oh. from North America. <laughs> chapter wise, <laughs> old enough to drink. Um, last episode was a great episode. We got to unfurl some of the, some small piece of the mysteries uh, of the area surrounding Roncalo. But we have uh, yet to see the statue fully make it out of the mine, so that's where we left off last episode. Uh, in, in addition, we had a wonderful notch and soda, thanks to everyone who joined us oh, and asked questions, wild. and we had, a, we had a marvelous time. I realize we never get to even close to all of the questions oh, that people yeah. are asking us. We try real hard. We Every time we say speed round, we just say speed round, we don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we just put those words Ever out good. there. Yeah. I need to get like specific like music that like, like really just oh, get you going. Yeah. That's a good idea. We'll that's look into that. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, <laughs> got a month to work on that. Before we dive back in, as always, a little around the horn for some uh Welcome to the hype train on Twitch level oh. five, I think. Oh. Thank you for subbing and bidding Whoa. using Whoa. your Twitch Wait, primes guys. and all these wonderful things that you do. Um, you can also listen to the podcast version of the show come Tuesday. You can watch the video version on YouTube on Fridays, unless you support us in a number of ways, like being a YouTube member or a Patreon subscriber. Mm -hmm. Then you'll get that video early on Tuesday, same day as the podcasts. Um, yeah, thank you for commenting, subscribing, membering, <laughs> listen on Spotify. Co Jordan, most of us read a lot of the comments. Jordan reads every one of the comments. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. you. There's like, people are saying so many wonderful things Aww. about the previous campaign and this campaign. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, that ended uh, all like so. Uh, uh, a great place can, where you can talk about great things okay, about the previous right. campaign or the oh, campaign yeah. is Discord, uh, discord.gg forward slash tabletop notch. Uh, it's a wonderful place full of everything Bronco, everything at Peak Beneath the Veil, everything tabletop notch. And uh, one amazing thing that's happening in the Discord right now is uh, I believe it's Flintberg in Discord is compiling everyone in Discord where they're from. Um, and so we get little maps that show like, oh, we have people over in Europe and people here and whatever. So it's cool to see those fill up. So if you're not part of the Discord, hop in so we can get you on that map. So we can track you. So we can track yeah. you. The other things that have maps are certain social platforms <laughs> on which we are on. Although I think the main one that does that is Snapchat, which is the one we're not on. God, but every not. single other social platform that isn't Snapchat, you can find us there. Such a good transition, Eric. Snapchat that's maps view? Oh, yeah. yeah. You can that's see all your friends. Wasn't that supposed that. to be the app that was like that didn't. super anonymous? Yeah. Yes. That was yeah. the whole point of it. Oopsie. Back in the <laughs> Whoops. This has changed. Okay, well, that also Oops, something that has changed is merch. Our merch <laughs> has changed. Changed. In a good way. We have a real cool ass new cups. They're so cool. And They're mugs. So cool. And Bad other cups. For those who ordered an old mug, we should have had That's the old one. It's the biggest mug there. I've ever somewhere. This is such a big fucking mug. There's a smaller version, but... Why would you want that? That's like the size of Matt's face. Yeah. Guys, it says a bunch of really cute stuff on here, like fart pedal and... Don't give it all away. Miserable miscreants oh, and a bunch of other shit. And you awesome. should really get it because it's tasty. I'm so drinking my tea. A lot of, a lot of Broncolo <laughs> specific uh, phrases and, and inside yeah, jokes. <laughs> So, um, so cute. <laughs> also, oh, uh, for people that listen on Spotify, like, we doubled our Spotify subscribers, guys. <gasps> oh my so God. So now we have four? We have <laughs> six. Oh, so <laughs> thank you crazy. for hearing my call to action last week of they saying uh, we're not going to found the link. Impossible. <laughs> 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 Geniuses. <laughs> yeah. You guys I are. I tuned out of that like halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's in the description of the podcast. All you got to do is click on the one you're listening to and you can find it easily. So do that. 
Thank you. <laughs> um, and but, Patreon, we owe you our homebrew for February. That's yeah. coming up in the next couple within of days. The next, within the next week. Um, uh, can't wait to hear what it is. is. Yeah. Um, more news on that next week when it's released and announced. Um, but for, you know, to give the usual spiel, lots of homebrew content you can add to your own campaign, including enduring injuries and Ooh. character sheets and uh, achievements, <laughs> inspiration, all kinds of good stuff. I feel with you every time we bring that up. Um, uh, did we cover it all? I think we did. Oh, he flew. Ooh, hey, yeah, no, we did. This was a speedy one. one. Do we miss anything? We always do that. We, we say, oh, it was a speedy one, and then we talk about how speedy <laughs> we were, and it's the same length every time. Fair enough. Okay. It's suspiciously similar to how we do the speed rounds at not <laughs> Yes, very true. much so. At least we're everything. consistent. <laughs> Uh, do it, resubscribe. 22 is resubscribe. 54 mm. months. Jesus wow. Christ. Oh. Uh, Golden Dagger 94 resubscribe. Golden Dagger did 510 bits. Scarface subscribe with Prime. Did you know you can subscribe with Prime for free if you have an Amazon Prime account? Doofus Burst Booty Cheeks gave out five community subs. Yes. Thank you so much. Plain Rug gave out five community subs. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you. Naira Kim uh, resubscribed. Oh, scroll. Nice McGraw subscribe with Prime. <laughs> Anonymous Gifter subscribe or gave out five community subs. Captain Kirk resubscribe. Quixote Squire, seven stream streak. A uh, little big heavy, a hundred bits. Mahi Mahi gifted a sub. Jay Brownie a thousand Mahi. bits. Mojo Ooh. Man resubscribed. Master Dark resubscribed. Helljack one hundred thirty nine bits. Cynic Arctic stream streak. Cryo stream streak. Cryo stream streak. Blackjack. Oh no, my scroll. No. It's, oh, I thought that was a username keep... for oh. sure. Oh, oh no, my scroll. Oh, 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 my streak. Oh, oh no, my Jack, scroll. Blackjack oh. sub resubscribed. Thank you so much, Mr. Dreamheimer. Ten bits. Your periwinkle friend. Five community subs. Helljack five stream streak. Rowan KT resubscribed. Mahi Bahi boxer. One month. Uh, the gift sub, uh, Pogo, five stream streak. Thank you, Pogo Dogo. Riz Renang, five community subs, and then half fake, one community sub. Wow. Holy. Ah, my lip thank you guys thank so much. You. Cheers. Yeah. A, a plain rug was was a was an early. E L A N. That's what I was wondering. I didn't know if it was a flying rug or uh, a unadorned rug. That's yeah. a yeah. very important distinction. Yeah. Questions. Oh, I didn't get. Yes. Yes. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Ooh, cough drops oh. and sweet tea. Yum. Um, okay. <laughs> that sounds like a battery. I think that that covers all our pre-show elements. So without further ado, I think it's time to dive back in and then go to chapter uh, 21 of Bronk Hollow. So we're gonna throw it uh, over to the recap and then the intro, and we'll see you guys <laughs> on the other side. Sounds <laughs> getting <laughs> prepped. God. Here we go. <laughs> Well, previously, on chapter 20, more charm than good. The group started with a superficial inspection of the statue and some questions for form and hitch, but nothing seemed out of sorts until Morna switched on her magical awareness and was almost bowled over by an overwhelming show of sorcery. It was just a brief glimpse, but Morna was reasonably certain there were creatures hiding within the rocks, and after TC pushed his luck a little too far trying to spread his goop, she and Kate had the room to themselves to try and coax the critters out of hiding. These tiny elementals, known as Chewingas, Chewinga. had the ability to imbue others with magical charms and had some kind of relationship to the statue, though it was hard to clarify what exactly it was before Bruno returned for last call. They came back outside where Ilian had just finished a bit of a sham assignment, and the consensus was that moving the statue could have devastating effects, but in the end, Bison was far too stubborn to heed their warning. If the removal of the statue has any impact, will it be immediate or will it bubble beneath the surface? And was Ilian setting the stage for a future Tyrune start smackdown? Stick around and find out on chapter 21 of Broncolo. Chowinga. Get out of here. Chowingas.
Before we jump right back in, uh, we have a little <gasps> inspiration oh. to it. It's definitely not gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, it is. This something. one is a bit of a split inspiration, though you get credit for the whole thing. Fuck. It's the same achievement. They're both called Slather Ye Rosebuds. And it is apply the unknown substance to the statue at Bison's dig site without Bison finding out about it, which goes partly uh, in credit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. And partially <laughs> you credit. Ride my coattails, bitch. You ride my coattails. Get off of them. I made you. One wow. of them is listed as, oh, did I give you the right one? Is yours exploration uh, or exploration. social? Exploration. Yes. Social. So, yes, and yours is social, because you had to. Oh, oh that's been so neat. To, uh, oh, hell yeah. And to not divulging. You're details. welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Teamwork makes Tuck it away. <gasps> Damn! That Whether is cool. it is simply a matter of perception, or if the crew down there is actually slowing their progress, the last couple feet of the statue's arm and the bowl in its hand feel like it takes an eternity to reach the open air. As they do, it's remarkable how quiet 50 or more people can be when they stand around in a kind of strained tension. It has a funereal look to it, like friends and family hovering over a grave before the first shovelfuls of dirt are tossed atop the casket. But nothing's being buried here, quite the opposite. And when the full length of the statue reaches the middling light of an overcast sky, one collective breath is held and then The nothings have it, ladies and gentlemen! The nothings have it! A shout goes around the exterior rim of the pit here. A chorus of laughter, relief, shaking of heads follows. Those working in the treadwheel crane take that cue to get the ropes lined up. You can see them kind of moving things into place, trying to get the rope to drop perfectly down to where the statue is being organized below. People at the base of the pit swarm to the sled that that statue is being pulled out on. And with a coordinated effort, one, two, three, pull and get the statue into an upright position there, still swaddled in these kind of tight bindings that the dangling uh, hooks can kind of latch onto. So they pull it all the way up and then the people grab the ropes dangling from the crane and they start to fit it into these sort of heavy ropes that are all coiled around the statue. As that's happening, Bison sort of looks to his crowd mostly, not so much to you guys, but to his employees. All right, wrap it up and we'll take it to go. Tell Josie that if a crane drops that fucking thing, she better make sure she's underneath it. And to you all, time to say bye bye And he turns and he walks, at heading over to the crane to view the progress. The mention of Josie's name causes Morna to look over and see that Josie has been gripping the railing of the platform she's standing on so tightly that when she finally releases, you see her like massaging her hands to keep them from cramping like she had tensed up so much. As she does, she offers a kind of a quick glance over in your direction and kind of gives a nod as if to say, we'll see what happens next. Yep. And then she returns to her duties. Did any of us notice that? Uh, no, that was just a quick little exchange. Okay. Foreman Peabody, who you collected the money from, takes a few slow steps in your general direction. He's not close to you, but you see him kind of moving in your general direction. He's not trying to be kind of brusque or bad-mannered, but his body language implies the obvious, that it's time for you guys to take your leave from the dig site. The next time you see the statue, you kind of give one more peek over the edge to get a look at it, see if anything's changed. Looks pretty much the same. Can I focus on the spots that I may have gotten some of the Sure, give me a perception check, yeah. The next time you see the statue, it may very well be hovering around the outskirts of Brunkolo itself. You're not sure where they exactly plan on sort of storing this thing until they decide what to do with it and what effect that might have, if any, and, you know, will probably be speculated upon quite a bit by the people of Brunkolo. 23? 23. As far as you can tell, it dries in a kind of uh, opaque, not uh, glossy finish. So you certainly, I mean, you're up at the rim, so you don't have a great look at it, but you don't see anyone being like, oh, yeah, like, oh. what's that? Yeah, it's you don't like see anything about the that. light more. Nope, There's nothing no, like that. There's no, no shimmer. <laughs> nope, nothing that you can notice from here. I'm gonna turn my back 
and sort of head towards the trees. And as I do, just as small as oh, possible, okay. I'm going <laughs> to sure. do, do my hands. There's a lot of people moving yep, around, so it's not... quickly do that and then take a deep breath and, yep. Well, I can't say I'll rest easy tonight, but I suppose that is a weight off knowing that nothing happened yet. Morna's watched. <laughs> so you guys are slowly moving away from the dig site. Yeah, leading the horse. Horse a little bit. As you guys are moving away, just uh, so slowly walking, talking a little bit, thinking about what just happened, you hear a familiar voice, hey! And you turn and you just see Bruno, sort of, he's, he's breathing heavy because he had to kind of run back down, went back in, came out, went back up, so he's breathing heavy as he kind of comes over. <sighs> Safe travels back to town. Hope you don't feel that your time was wasted. I hope your journey back has less hiccups than we did on the way here. You as well, Bruno. See you in Bronk Hollow. And as you guys turn, he just reaches out and he grabs Doxley on the oh elbow God. just to catch you before you turn. I don't want to get caught with whatever the fuck this is in my pocket. And he reaches into his coat and he takes out little jar in his hand. That's mostly the interiors kind of, whatever was on the interiors dried mostly, so it's not like sloshing, even though it was never it was never that liquidous, never that thin. You keep it, give it back to him, toss it in the river, and leave it up to you. Happy to take it. Either way, I'll be writing my friends soon, telling them that the waters in Soulscarp Bay are looking quite calm for the foreseeable future. Hoping to get a letter back there in maybe a day or so. See you in town. Cheers, Bruno. Safe travels. And he kind of jogs back to the site where he's needed as a kind of surveyor overseer. Would I be able to take a peek just to be like, Doxley is talking to Bruno? Just, I note that something yes, happened. Yes, you can there. see that they have a quiet exchange, just the two of them. Okay. Yeah, without being able to come over here. So did you say, I'm sorry, the goop is like totally dried? If you point? take a quick peek at, the, peek at the interior, it seems like whatever was inside dries very quickly when exposed okay. to the air. Like it is, if you even run your finger along the inside, it's it's like hardened. It, there's nothing sort of goopy or sticky or, or watery about the interior of it at all. Like okay. it was eno enough of it came out that the small amount that was still there is yes. evaporated. So when you water, dropped right? it into the kind of pit, it clanged mm -hmm. around. Some of it probably came, you know, splattered out. And whatever bits of it are still around the interior have dried at this point. It's fully dry. I will subtly put that into my mind. Please. And Doxley's gonna walk over to, Morn, are you back yet, girl? What? Are you here? Oh, well, she's yeah. been walking. Okay. She just moved a little ahead so she could. Uh, Darcy's gonna kind of look expectantly at Morna. Are we away from the site with people? I mean, you're you are walking away from it. Yes. Right. You're... Do you have any light you wish to shed on this new development, there, Morna? Uh, yeah, I. I can tell you what Kate and I saw. I'd like to get a little bit of distance between us and Bison's people. Please, because I'm so confused. What everyone's making a fuss about. So <sighs> am I. Fucking gods. Yes. Um. There are hundreds of tiny creatures that with little oval faces that say Chwinga and have shitloads of abjuration magic just radiating off of them. That's what's in there. All around the statue, not on the statue, around the statue and in the whole place. And so who the fuck knows what happens now that the statue moves. How, I'm sorry, how uh, did you know that did oh, that the that is there? Fuck. Do you, did you see them in person? Did they try to attack you? No, they didn't try to attack Kate they're, or I. They're very, very friendly. They, yeah, they're, it's kind of creepy, but friendly and... What? Yeah, yeah, that's why I fucking... Jesus, so you... Why, you hundreds you had of a... things down there. Yes. Invisible? In the rock. They move through rock as if it were air. The question is... Uh, did you, are you... Hi? What are you? Oh, did you Kate eat high as well? Yeah, I saw them too. So I'm sorry, abjuration magic. Can you just 
First no, off, explain what that... I don't understand. Protection. Some kind of protection. I think it's for themselves, protecting themselves so that they are shielded, so that they can move through the rock. Who knows? They're But they're very magical little creatures. They they have a, sh- a shitload of magic. There has to be a reason why they were in that particular place. Yeah, 100%. They were in the statue? No, they weren't in the statue at all. They were around the statue. The but, statue was the only thing in that place that didn't have them. But how did TC and Doc not see this? Did you not go all the way like through? they didn't like Bison's men. They didn't, when Bison's men were there, they avoided them. They stayed outside of them. And then when they left, they approached Kate and I. They liked us. I guess. They were underneath your feet. You, you both, underneath you, and around you, and all of us, but not Bison's people. They were close to us. They were, yeah, they were fucking, you were stepping on top of them. I think we should go back. We shouldn't, I don't, maybe Bison not right now. Bison will not allow us in there. Not right now, but eventually. Or ever. I don't wish. It's. <sighs> I should have gone down. I should have gone down. Why? You were ill. It seems like if, no. this is, if this is true, this if is this a big is... thing to witness. This is something I wish I could have seen myself. You haven't seen enough fucking magic for one day. God. Why did they show themselves to you? Do we think that, that, that Bison and his men have seen these things? No, I don't. They avoided Bison's men, and they said they never saw anything. I asked, were there more accidents? Were there magical, arcane incidences? They, they said, they looked at me like I was fucking crazy, and... I, I'm gonna pull out the uh, drawing I made on my piece of paper and pass it around. Sure. Yeah, they drew uh, this I'm to us and thing. tried to communicate. They only said, chewing, chewing, chewing at us. Chewing. Does that mean anything to me? It doesn't, no. I... Okay, it was nobody this way. say anything. It was this way. <laughs> nobody say anything. That's how they drew it. Just look at it and think really hard about what the fuck you think that is. No one said, just for 10 seconds of quiet study time. Okay, now go. A bracelet? Person? I I thought it was a person too. Chip, salsa. Bowl? Is that? A bowl to us, yes. Doxley? Looks like Pee going into a piss pod and then somebody's putting their face in it. <laughs> I also thought it was a face. <laughs> sorry, what? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Were they able to communicate why this is like why this is important? Absolutely not. Maybe no they're just idea. playing a game with you if they're so friendly. Uh, maybe. All right, h- hold on. There's still one thing that's not adding up for me. You asked us to vacate in an emergency-like fashion before you even saw these things. Why did you have us leave? I, I wanted, well, I mean, I saw just the magic. I didn't, I, I could see the magic. I couldn't see the creatures until they showed up. What does this magic look, what do you mean you saw magic? That's what I'm wondering. <clears throat> that nobody else saw. That? I was in there and I didn't see anything. Because, <sighs> I. <sighs> it's the bracer, right? Yes. In. Unesia, we were. F- you don't want to fuck with this stuff. There are forces that. In Unesia, my family was forced to leave because some schmo was making, trying to make magical items, and I learned some things about magical items in that time. You should take this then, if you know what the bracer does, and figure out. I haven't that figured that one out yet, but I'll put it on my finger. <laughs> so not assist with seeing magic? Is that not? Um, what the... the bracer's out of juice right now. You can only have a couple of uses. I see. I was wearing the bracer all morning. What's you the have deal to with be, it? You have to know what it does. it does. You don't just automatically know what things are. You have to study them and understand them. The bracer looked familiar to me. Who taught you all of this? It's just a fucking nice kid. He's a neighbor. These things drew this for you two. Yes, the other way. Flip it over. Like that. Yeah, 
Yes, like that. Did they have a pleading look about them? Did they have a... They don't have they don't faces. Have faces. They have white ovals, and they sort of stare at you otherworldly-like. Frantic. Were they frantic? Were they... No. no. They, were... they were hanging out. More in a demonstration. <laughs> we were... And Kate was going to join in and be like... They were a little sexy. A little sexy. Absolutely not. Oh. Right. I wasn't attempting to be sexy. Ethereal is what I, uh, that's ethereal, what I meant. Ethereal, yeah, maybe <laughs> ethereal. <laughs> I, I, I see a bracelet pointing towards a bowl. A with, bracelet? I, I don't know. What, How, do you have any idea what this a is? The scale would seem off if it's a bracelet and that's a bowl, don't you think? I don't think Why sizing. do we care? They drew you a little doodle. Why do you care? If you saw a bunch of tiny magical creatures and they drew you a doodle, you wouldn't care? Uh, that, uh, that is why I asked if they seemed frank to think about it, if they felt like they needed to impart something important to it you. It felt like or a if gift. It was a gift. Yeah, some creatures bring you like shells from the bottom of the sea and shit. Just because they drew you a little doodle, maybe that's just the way that their kind be. Okay, if a creature brought me a bunch of shells from the bottom of the sea, I would think that's pretty cool. Speaking of scale, if, say, this were a bracelet, do you think that all those specs could be a bunch of bracelets? It's just for scale saying, this is the thing. Oh, that's all those okay, little okay, things. Okay, okay, now we're cooking. In there. Mm-hmm. Now we're cooking. I don't know why it really matters, I could matters, see that. I could see we're that. We're not cooking. We have no fucking idea. No, I think that's is. a great contribution. Thank you. It looks like powder or dust into a bowl and then dipping an enormous chip into it. Shit. <laughs> Are you hungry, yeah. Morna? <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, we could probably yeah. take a rest here soon. All this right. perspective. I would like the, that. The perspective of these tiny, no-faced creatures might be one completely different from their own. This could symbolize something that we have no, we can't even fathom. <sighs> uh, this is a mood. Or a I'm sharp mood. A mood? I don't know. I'm Could just. Be. You said they a didn't have a language. face. Well, they didn't. They didn't have faces. That's true. I guess. <sighs> Should we? Do we need a rest? I then? I really need a rest. <laughs> yes. Please. Is this, the, can we find sort of a yeah. part that's a little off? They're the moving road along and... a little bit. You depart from the dig site, kind of thinking about exactly what it is you've learned by coming here, now discussing it with each other. Sort of a confusing, exhilarating, anxiety-inducing affair that's left some of you wondering whether you kind of did enough there, and others wondering if you maybe did too much. Yeah. Kate and Morna can still feel the spots on their skin where they were touched by these cave-dwelling creatures. A very localized little ticklishness, like someone lightly running a finger back and forth along the surface of your skin. It's a couple of hours past midday, and the sun has yet to really break through, so there's still kind of a persistent, nippy quality to the air. Which, now that you're not so focused on the extraction, it's become far more noticeable. When you had kind of a goal in mind, you didn't notice the weather as much, but you see each other kind of crossing arms, wrapping up a little bit. You're backtracking and moving slightly downhill, which helps you build a little bit of natural momentum away from the barking of orders and creaking of the crane that disappears behind you until eventually you're accompanied only by the sounds of hooves and heels digging into the dirt. You've already traded some information back and forth about what you saw in the mine, but the recognition that you're now firmly back in the wilderness releases that last little bit of tension from where you might maybe weren't sure who might be eavesdropping at any given moment. A few days ago, a meeting was held and votes were cast. And as Kate appealed admirably to an obstinate bison, they really didn't know what they were voting on. <sighs> so you can only hope that by through gut instinct or just dumb luck, it led them to the right decision. In this placid stretch of woods, there's no shortage of reasonable resting spots, so you find a little area setting down atop a grassy little plateau where you can still see if anyone's kind of coming or going along the road here. You're probably not far from where you saw that feverish boar, so before you sort of sit down and relax, you listen for any sounds of kind of scratching or snorting, and then when you're satisfied by the solitude, everybody shrugs off their knapsacks, makes themselves comfortable here. So you're just off of that little sort of footpath a little way. I, I feel I owe you guys uh, some information. No, you don't. No, this is important for the group. Um, 
while you were down there, Bison and I had a bit of uh, an argument, to put it simply. Um, and uh, it's safe to say we are not on good terms, so if you are looking to get on the good terms of Bison, Fuck. I maybe be a little less friendly towards me when he's around. Uh, did we, you challenge him to a fist fight like your sister did? No, I was a me. bit more, oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit of a stretch. Sorry, what? No, uh, he, simply put, he said he could cave in the cave you were in and kill you all, uh, especially Doc, and I said I would behead him if he did such a thing, and then things kind of escalated, and then to de-escalate, I uh, did a stupid job for him, which now, uh, he just used me the whole time, and I feel like a jackass, but, mm. um, uh, so that's a all I meant to talk or that one. Yeah, uh, he got everything he wanted, which is, seems like a normal thing for him. Hi. So yeah, if you, if you wish to work with Bison, just don't be around me when you want to do that, I guess. I think it's good to stay away from Bison in general. That's fair enough. He's, he's, he's the worst, honestly. Yeah, I don't he's like him. Yeah. The most, one of the most powerful <laughs> worst. Just this town. morning, we were spreading our love around the this worst? whole town, going from job to job. Now, all of a sudden, because of a, a tit that you had with him, none of us are allowed to take a job well, with he him? He certainly can. And I tried to convey to him, I don't know if it mattered, that I was happy to do a favor for him, just that I'm not one of his men. So I'm happy to do a job for him, as long as he's not a jackass about it. He will be a jackass. Mm. It is in his nature. <laughs> the hopes are to too be high. A jackass, Ilian. Then maybe we will not be doing any more. I will not be doing any more jobs for Bison. God, it's Mr. If it goes that way. I'm sorry. I, it it irks me when he nonchalantly says he could murder you all, especially my sister. Yes. That's a little uh, someone I don't want to work for. At the very least, Ilian, you can't just have somebody knowing that much about you. He he found your button in a moment. I love your lack of filter. You can't let people know exactly what you're thinking and feeling and what's gonna set you over the edge at every given moment. Sorry. Well, I'll I kind of disagree with that, Doc, which I know you know. Uh, it's whatever, it's a... But... <laughs> Family drama. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you went to talk to him and he'd already moved away. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Morgan's gonna eat some trail mix. Like, uh, a little bit of time here. Kate, did you want to partake in? I know, uh, I mean, this is all under the purview of a short rest. Um, did short you want to take time, any time? time. Uh, for those who study. don't remember, Kate both has, yeah. uh, she can create poisons using her feet during uh, during an hour's time, or she can... Uh, what poison? Wow, <laughs> so dexterous. Or she can uh, study her, her yeah, I'm tomes. Yeah, gonna study. What would you like to work? Where we can do like hit dice and stuff yeah. like that. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna study Introductory Alchemy 1. Oh my god. Okay. Kate cracks oh. open for the first time. You 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 know quickly flip through, but for the first time, sort of sitting, having a moment to yourself to really absorb the pages and starting from the very very beginning. It feels like being back in sort of the early stages of schooling, back in uh, yeah. Saywall, the outskirts of Saywall. Okay. A little more self guided this time than it was before. So are you reading an alchemy book? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be sitting under like back against a tree. Books popped open, hat is down. The rest of the world might not exist. <laughs> May as well not exist to me right now. Okay. <sighs> so are we still going down a fucking well, Lillian? Oh, is that today? I had forgotten completely. Let's see how we feel when we get back into town. Um, is this well got a bucket you can lower me down on? I have no idea. I'm You'd going. seen it. There, I mean, there oh. was like a, I don't know if there's a bucket on the end of the rope, but there was a rope. Oh. I mean, it was coiled up because they boarded it up, but there's like, oh, at the top, there's like a coiled rope. That rope might be a little old, a little brittle, mm. but, uh, but it's there. I, mean, <laughs> I could get down a ladder a with one foot. It just might take yeah. me a while. There might not be a ladder down the well. There's a rope. There's a rope. <laughs> um, I should assess when I see it, I suppose. I, 
let's revisit it when we get back. In case we have any more run-ins. If we have another run-in, I just am okay to tap out for the day. But I would like to see it if nothing happens. What happened with that Romo Klein in the darkness? Why would you defend him? His army of undead. Doxley said you've seen enough magic for today. I, needless to say, I don't think he's a bad person. I think he, I think he's done bad things, but I don't think he's our enemy at the very least. Um, Do you think he really is Ramo Klein? Or does that even fucking matter? I, I don't know, I never met old Ramo Klein, but I think without a shadow of a doubt, that is. After hearing that, Kate's going back. Kate's going back to her. Place. Kate's going yeah. back. She's like, I mean, that's that's how Doxley's looking at Elliot, right? <laughs> okay. You can spend hit dice too if you. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm yeah. going to do yeah. that right yeah. now. <laughs> you can do both of those. Those are not mutual. Oh, she had the two little guns. Elian. Yeah. It is not my place to lecture you. But as I have just revealed, I know a little something about magic. And it very rarely hurts yourself. It hurts the people nearest to you. Magic can also help you see great things. It can help you with anything. It will make you mad. It will find the cruelest parts of you because it is full of power. That is why centuries ago, the gods took it from mortals. It is seductive. It is meant to be seductive. For someone who hates magic so much, you seem to know a lot about it, Morna. Yeah, that's why you should fucking believe me. How much can I participate in this conversation <laughs> while still you getting can. my? Yeah, you can <laughs> chip in with the. Uh, oh, oh, okay, as I like <laughs> eavesdrop, like her trying to focus on both things at once, Kate's just gonna be like. Who did you hurt? I didn't hurt anyone. I have been hurt by it. By people who wished for their ambition overstretched. Did the magic hurt him or did the clerics? <sighs> Both. And if a cleric did something, then they are the arrow who draws back the bow. What? They are one and the same. A cleric wouldn't be... It doesn't matter. Morna's gonna get up and go sort of uh, over by herself and just put her hat on top of her head and like try to pretend to nap. <laughs> I suppose. She's, she's tapped out, she's tapped out. <laughs> I suppose what she is saying is that innately being around and using magic is a dangerous and evil thing. Not here it isn't, apparently. <laughs> how do we know that the gods? How do we know oh. that that we are? This is a test. Clearly, uh, are you going to be the one who? who what do the gods hate more? The uh, gods? Would you really Morna, risk? Morna, it's all right. We don't know I, what they can see. I agree with you in the sense that. Would you be responsible for everyone in Broncalo because you wish to, to, uh, what is, what is the, what is the capacity before the clerics come? And how long? And how long? Has this place been this way? Right. I suppose that's We've the only known run. about it for a fraction of the time, generations. Come now, Elian. You, who wants to help creatures great and small, would risk an entire Town and entire. And I don't have the power to do that, Morna. 
I can't help! But you want it. Don't if it you? means I can help people, yes. <sighs> but reaching out to touch and to utilize that power she's saying might bring down the entire thing on top of you and everyone around you. That's the risk you run coming to Bronk Hollow, TC. People are searching out all different types of things. You really think things can be better? If they can't be, I'll die trying. What are you two doing here? Gods, I wish I had your naivete. That hope, it is almost heartbreaking. All I did was ask a question. I have still no idea why you are here. I am you here hate to be a so mason, much. There are okay. plenty of towns with lots of stones. Everyone I love is dead. Then maybe go to a place that doesn't give you so much fucking anxiety. Every place gives me anxiety, Kate. Okay, word, I can understand that. <sighs> My contact here is Josie. That is what brought me here. Perhaps it is not a place I will stay. And has it occurred to you that sometimes people go places out of necessity? Yeah, that's why I'm asking you what your necessity is. And maybe that doesn't need to be shared. I'm gonna keep asking. I understand I do, both of you. I really, more than you know, you've understand. Never, you've never and felt- And I'm telling you, it, we aren't meant for it. Are you, you trying to cleanse this place of magic or no. something? God, no. Nothing so ambitious. Are you okay with feeling so powerless out in the world? That nothing you do matters? I've never had any power, nor do I desire it. There are many kinds of power, Alien. Some like less all-consuming than others. All I see, as far as power goes, is the church swinging their dicks around. Yeah, what are your favorite forms of power, Mr. Walker? I'm merely pointing out a fact. No, I'm curious. <laughs> Kate, he doesn't mean... A strong scent. That's can be one. powerful. No, that's a good one. Kate, just let him... Going back to her book. <laughs> Leaning back for her. Morta takes her <laughs> <laughs> Alien that will also kind of slump and turn away. <laughs> I'll, I'll lean back and look over at Doc's the thing. <laughs> I think I just found everyone else's buttons. Oh, you bitch. <sighs> the little bits of <laughs> wildlife that you see while you idle are commonplace, usually too skittish to approach. At one point, there's a small exception, a small pack of flying monkeys kind of glides between the trees over the branches above you, like peering down with curiosity until their short attention spans kind of send them elsewhere into a sort of southeastern direction that they're soaring. With the hopefully imminent completion of another foray into the valley, you think about how much you've seen and at the same time how much remains to be seen. Your experience paling in comparison to the likes of a Niall Morton or an Ace Adams Rogue or other kind of boundary pushers who have made exploration a tenant of their stay. So far you've enjoyed the relative luxury of knowing that you can return to your hotel room each night after the sun has gone down. But as these mysteries continue to unfold, you wonder if someday you'll find yourselves deep in the eastern downweald or even rising up into the mountains, making camp in caves and clearings just like this one, being the first to discover places rather than hearing tales ahead of time, and enjoying talks as fulfilling and deep as this one. <laughs> hey, what happened to our friendly nature from last night? We need alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time goes by, it's very quiet. Every once in a while, the only sound you hear is just, as Kate turns a page in the book. Other than that, people rest, you listen, 
Look at the critters f moving through the underbrush. The hour finishes. You complete the short rest. You remember, you get a, a hit die back at the end of a short rest. Even if it's the only one you use. Mm -hmm. Even if it's the only one you use. Um, when you roll hit die, you add the con modifier to that, yeah? Each mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Each time, yeah. May I borrow that? I left it in the bag. <laughs> How are we failing, everyone? <laughs> Chipper? Absolutely fabulous. That's good news. How about you? I feel great. Great. No complaints. All right. I'm gonna help TC back up on his horse. Mm. Mm. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> it's very comfortable up there. I wouldn't say that. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. Me salve my saddle sores later. I don't know what that means, but I will try to help how a I can. A bit of chafing, young man. A bit of chafing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> Even Doxley kind of grimaces at that one. I believe it is a jest. <laughs> ah. Well, uh, hopefully there's a rashy yes. penis. Yes. <laughs> yes. Abrasive yeah. on, on the scrot. Yes. <laughs> Fever of the tank. Not scrot. No, no, no. <laughs> Shall we? Sure. Yeah. As you guys get up from your resting area, I need Kate and Morna to give me Arcana. Oh, oh my. Oh. Ooh. 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 Why these special ladies? Why are they special? Because we special ladies. Oh, Doing that. That's, right. <laughs> that's right. 18. That's right. 18. Um, I got a minus. Uh, that's 11. 11. Okay. As you guys rise, sort of having recuperated a bit of your strength, a bit of your energy, both of you can feel that those charms that were imbued by the Chewinga, now that you've sort of gotten used to them, you're sort of carrying that magic with you for a short time, it feels like a little pool of energy within, that if you like think about it and focus on it, Almost in a, you know, you don't sense that it's physical in any way, but you can like sense where it kind of is in your body and that if you needed to use it, exactly how to kind of pull from that pool of energy. That pool, you get the sensation that for as long as that pool exists, is sensed maybe not only by you, but possibly by any other kind of creature that could sense magic, or any other kind of tool, Sensitive item, thing or yeah. person. Whereas normally, um, like a spell being cast, like if you just tried to use your magic awareness on a wizard, they wouldn't necessarily light up unless they were actively using some kind of magic. Versus the pool that you feel within you, you feel that someone, if they had the ability to, could sense that pool within <laughs> you. And that for as long <laughs> as that like pool... <laughs> 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 so for as long as that pool's within you, and it, you do get the sense that it can be used up as long as you use this sort of charm that's been imbued, as long as that exists within you, it, that is a possibility that something, a creature, an item, someone's sense would be able to detect that magic. Got that background refresh on right now, they're tracking you. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that background refresh on. <laughs> I cast lightning bolt. Oh, <laughs> three times. Yeah. Can you use it three times? Is that a two. <laughs> <laughs> <Achoo. laughs> Get it out. Yeah. As you rise, you just sort of you're getting used to that feeling. Lightning <laughs> bolt. This is actually crazy. Yeah, I feel like it's. I don't know, 8d6 or something. <laughs> it feels like it's a pool, like an 8d6 kind of pool. Kind of pool. Yeah. Wow. That is wild. Please fuck something up. <laughs> you guys begin your walk once more. The trail thins out a bit as you head due south. And you know it's a sign that you'll soon be coming up on that short tunnel that bores through the hillside. You pass through it on the way there. The briefest of burrows that takes you back to what Bruno referred to as Pocket Aces Pass, that little <laughs> rock sort of spiraling down. That's where Rama and his elves lay in wait for you. Before you get there, you see something moving through the trees, maybe 80 or so feet off to your right. You just see like sort of a sort of roundish figure moving between the trees very slowly. And it takes a second for you to realize that it's an owl bear because it's brown and gray plumage does a respectable job kind of blending it into the surroundings. 
as it sort of clocks your presence, it sees you and kind of tilts its head. And then it uses its beak as it bends down to pick a young cub up by the scruff of the neck <gasps> and kind of drop it and then using its body sort of ushering it in another, like like away from you as if sort of possibly sensing a predator of some kind. Oh. It moves on and you see it's kind of heavy plodding footsteps. Looks back one more time. Do you see like, did this cat <laughs> do it? <laughs> Out here, you know you're never more than a quick cop skip and a jump away from really colliding with nature. And you're frequently reminded of that fact. But sometimes nature is content to just let you coexist. Mm -hmm. So you continue without quarrel toward the lake and the lower part of this pass. How treesy is it here? Still pretty treesy up here. Okay. Like thin, thin forest. It's not right. like super dense, but. And no undead things in the trees as of yet. No, and again, you haven't gone through the tunnel and down the pass yet, but uh, but yeah, nothing that you see. It's, it, the trees, nothing could be really, unless it was very small, hiding like behind a tree trunk. They're not that thick. The mm -hmm. forest is not that dense. Mm -hmm. I need everybody to give me perception checks as you approach that sort of short tunnel that bores through the hillside. Okay. 15? 23. Nice. 18. 11, 9, 8. Wait, uh, 25, sorry. Jesus. Ilian and TC, who maybe have sort of taken up the front here, you notice that as you approach the tunnel, there's something slightly different about it. And it's mainly a function of the little bit of light that's coming through the tunnel, because you can see through to the other side, it's so short. There's like something strung across the middle of it, but lower towards the ground, like at knee height, maybe shin height. Um, you see like a little thin strip of something. Um, I, I see, see, I see it. All right. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, <laughs> triple. <laughs> yeah. All right. It looks like a triple. <laughs> um, our sneaky man is out of commission. Ah, um, I would not say that. What's happening? There's a, there's, looks like a wire or some sort of thing draped across the tunnel. Um, just there, just up from the floor. Yeah. As he points it out and you get a look at it, it's extremely crudely set up. Like you've seen tripwires and animal traps before. Like an intelligent creature would not fall for this as they pass through. Oh. Mm -hmm. You get the sense that maybe it was possibly set up for animals, animals yes, is so. something like that. Because it's so obvious as you get closer to it that like mm -hmm. you'd have to be blind or not looking to, to trip over it by accident. So we would probably be able to step over this thing, but the we have to go through that tunnel and the horse might have difficulty, yes. Maybe, if you, you'd have to very carefully sort of guide it over. Well, I think I would like to decommission, at least try to decommission it or find whoever set it right. before we go through there with my, uh, Mount here. Indeed. Do you want me to help you down? And you can. Uh, well, I will do. take a closer look at it and maybe somebody take a closer look for our trapper nearby. All right. Oh. I, can, I can do that. All right. Then I'll get down. I'll go take a look around for a yield trapper. Sure. Um, survival or investigation, whichever you prefer in that regard, if you're looking sort of for surroundings, just check around. And then are you sort of no. taking dismounting at, and getting closer getting to it? Getting closer to it very carefully. You know. Sure. Give me an investigation check. I'm going to look around. Oh, I'll see. Now, yeah, you can. Ooh, that one. Affect... Ooh. You don't get advantage no, unless it's for yeah. secret doors or entrances. Yeah. Not 20, let's, Ooh. let's go. Oh. Kate's just going to take care of Daisy while DC <laughs> yeah. looking around. You see Morna on the warpath and you, you <laughs> take care of the horse. 12. 12, okay. Survival nine. nine. Great, with your combined efforts and Morna leading the way, you're able to, you don't see any unusual footprints, and by unusual I mean like not on this obvious little path that you're walking on, and you do see, as TC's getting closer, you give a little peek over his shoulder, you see some pairs of small footprints leading up to the tripwire, uh -huh. and then looking like they turned back around. <laughs> so it seems like whatever set up this tripwire trap maybe didn't continue further out. They came up here, set it, and then returned to the lower area down below. Mm. That's what you sort of discern from that. As you get closer and make a little investigation check, you see that the tripwire goes across and then up the wall a little bit, and then there's something jammed up into the ceiling that it looks like if you set off the tripwire, it would like pull it out or fall down. It's hard to tell exactly what it and is. And I can't tell what it is. Not with that roll. <laughs> <laughs> 
is the, it's too tall that I'd be able to reach. Anything. You'd have to. You'd probably have to get somebody like get on their shoulders or something. Mm. It's, it's yes. It's too tall for you to just on your tiptoes reach up. I'm, I mean, I'm right there. I <laughs> Someone. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think we might need to see what it is that's going to come out of the ceiling there, where we don't unattach this, or. Uh, okay. I want to say, fuck it, and cut the wire below. I don't think it'll set it off to, like, again, attached up here, comes down around. Mm -hmm. it, it's crude enough that if we cut whatever this line is here and just pulled out the rest of it, that might just stay up there. Uh, yeah, that would be part of sort of a, a disarming attempt. You okay. would be able to, it looks like it's sort of tension based. So if too much tension is pulled on the, on the yeah. rope, um, mm -hmm. it's possible that snipping it in some way might just cause it to cause fall. It might be fall. held up partially by the tension, so okay. it's hard to tell. All right, well, maybe we'll- Do you wanna? Yes, to know its nature, I might need a little bit closer. Can you okay. hoist me? Yeah, Do that with one leg, you're good? I think it's more her hoisting job. <laughs> uh, yeah, fair. I can hoist. Fair. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I mean, athletics, okay? I don't want to. Keep the core tight. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't want to? Is that um, what you just no, said? No, no, that was Deirdre, not, uh, that's a 10. A 10, oh, you man. get him, and because of his sort of m misplaced weight due to the broken leg, you teeter like one way a little oh. bit, and then you kind of teeter back the other way a little bit. <laughs> Gracious! Sorry, sorry. Steady now. Steady and grab, grab me. Yeah, yeah, grab yeah. Grab yeah. Grab um, all right. The rest of you sort of corral them a little closer. And I stand up to my full height. <laughs> TC, you can get closer. My sea legs. <laughs> and I'm going to try to either first find its nature and second to see if sure. I can. Sure, give me a uh, perception check. Uh, 21. 21. It looks like this trap is rigged up to a small smoke stick. Okay. Like that if the trap went off, it would go like pfft. Hmm. Would make like a big cloud of obscuring smoke. You've right. seen smoke sticks before, so that's what it looks like it's rigged up to. And you mm -hmm. could attempt to disarm it. You think you could uh, attempt to? I'm going to speak for it. I'll sure. say, I, I think it's as innocuous as a smoke stick. I don't think it's dangerous. I'd like to try to take it out and keep it. If nobody. Yeah, go go for it. All but, right. You know, go kind of quick. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't. Uh, hopefully, we will have eyes on the surrounding area. Nobody's going to try and trap us. Yeah. Okay. Just okay. go for it. All right. Um, You're welcome. I'm gonna try to. You may give me a sleight of hand check. Uh, can Doxley keep an eye on the road behind us? You can. Then? Yeah. No one has come or gone since you've been sort of stopped here. Now this. <laughs> mm. Do I have on on? Avoid no. Detect advantage on uh, resist traps, not not, not disarm. Not, not to disarm. Like okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but if it was explosive, you would have you know advantage to both avoid the damage or resistance to the damage. But here go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sleight of hand. Yeah. Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four. With that, you're able to reach up, and you sort of look down. You give Morna kind of a nod, and she. <laughs> sort of gets as st sort of stiff and still as she can and use that time to just slip the little rope that's attached to the bottom of the smoke stick. And the smoke stick was rigged in such a way that like it would pull the cap and it would just spew a bunch of smoke. Mm -hmm. So you, as you're taking the rope out, you have to like push the cap back up on the mm -hmm. end of the smoke stick. Mm -hmm. And you drop the rope, kind of hangs free, and then you're able to... <laughs> I'll, like, I'll look down and like, ooh. <laughs> uh, just another cursory quick look to see that there's not anything else rigged up here. Not that you can see. Yeah. All right. Look all the other. Carefully put that in my pocket there and uh, down, please. <laughs> Downies. <laughs> Downies. Uppies are over. Downies now, please. <laughs> she lowers him down. Regretting every moment of it. Uh, he's he's somehow wet. <laughs> like, oh my god. Thighs are a little like sweaty. Is a little wet. <laughs> we all perspire. You're like a little I don't say anything. I don't oh, say anything. Morning right. doesn't say anything, but she feels but she it. But she thinks about she your body. It. I see you going. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, TC. You see her thinking about how next time she's not going to volunteer for that. <laughs> yeah. As crude as this was, I think we should look out for additional traps. All right. Well. I shall mount up. Great. You're now free to kind of pass through the tunnel here uh, without what? anyone. What? She's looking at me. You're always looking <laughs> at me. I've been my business. You head through this short tunnel. 
And from the upper part of this path, you have an excellent view, as you did last time, of the water down below, the rocky platform that rises up out of it, that you have the bulk of the fights on that platform. The land stretching out before you is just as vast as it was before, though there are a couple small differences. For one thing, the sky has gone from overcast to outright gloomy. And if the air wasn't so dry, you'd think that maybe you were on the precipice of some passing showers. Also, down by the water's edge are maybe a half dozen smaller humanoids. Goblets. Mm. And they're currently in the process of pulling what you think are a couple of those corpses that Bruno tried to dispose of out of the lake. The undead elven corpses. Oh. They're sort of in the shallow end of the water, sort of pulling them to the bank. Huh. This kind of behavior doesn't strike you as terribly odd. Goblins are more than happy to pick through remains after a battle. If they see something that they think some kind of conflict took place, they might sneak in and try and pilfer whatever valuables, weapons, armor, anything that they can kind of get their hands on. Though you do suspect that they might be disappointed when they find little more than the kind of now waterlogged, decaying flesh of these undead creatures. So that's what you see down there is maybe five or six of them, a little hard to tell from up here, but they're pulling some of those corpses out of the lake. But there, so like we can walk up top, remembering the, the map, we can basically walk up top and they're like several, you know, 40 feet below us. Right? Uh, yeah, here, let me, I can bring up that map from previously. We can take a look Should at that. Should we turn on our monitors? Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, you're, you're gonna be on this map, but. So they won't really be close in my, my Not for a while, but y y if you go in the same path. So you guys, you know, the darkness striking. <laughs> you call it striking distance. Mm -hmm. Let me mm -hmm. bring up this. Perhaps. Here we go. Sorry. So you guys are coming through this tunnel. This is the sort of overhang tunnel mm -hmm. that you're passing. So you're up here looking down below mm -hmm. and you're kind of walking along this ridge and looking out into the distance where you can see the platform. So this is the platform where you fought with yep. all these trees here. Mm -hmm. And then the goblins are kind of down by the bank oh, here, pulling corpses out. So eventually, you're not close to them now, but eventually as you continue down here, you, they'll be pretty close to where you are. Okay. All right. So that's what you're seeing. <clears throat> Well, I'm fine letting the scrappy little salvages have their way with it. Anybody, uh... uh it's not, not my problem. Doesn't bother me. Thank you. I, do we, we, has anybody known a goblin to set a smokestick trap? It's no, not I'm unheard sure. of. They set little traps and things. Maybe these are... Uh, trappers. Seems likely the feet were small. Tra the tracks ah. leading up to them. Mm. Yeah, no, if they don't bother us, I'm totally fine not bothering them. Same, yeah. let us walk by. All right, start to head now. So you're walking along that kind of upper ridge. You curl down to TC. At a couple points, you have to dismount just to leave the horse a little bit. It's big enough, but you wouldn't want the horse to fall with you on it. So it's a couple times you dismount just to lead them along the edge. Then you get back on the horse. Then you go a little further. As you get down to basically the platform that you had the big fight on. When you get there, your horse especially, the mm -hmm. hooves are kind of clopping against the ground there. No way of avoiding that. And as that happens, you see a number of the goblins that are sort of rummaging, trying to see what these corpses might have. You see them kind of look up in your direction and then they kind of they scatter. scatter. Yeah, they look like they hid in bushes behind a tree, behind a rock. They kind of dart in a number of different directions. How many would you say we got eyes on? Uh, at least five. Okay. That were. Did they have any of those weapons that Clark Barks people have? Hmm, give me a perception check. Ooh. Mm. <gasps> Another oh nat my god. Wow. The sage is hanging on. <laughs> the sage is hanging on. Sage your dice, people. <laughs> oh my god. Strong believer. Especially having been the person who went into the goblin sort of dig site to negotiate with them as you guys were sort of working your way through, it looks like a couple of them have those modified pickaxes that are pickaxes mm -hmm. that seem to have sharpened down to a point, at least, you know, in a crude kind of way. Okay. And a couple of them, they, you know, they don't leave them there as they scatter into the bushes and trees, but a couple of them had that. So it's, you're also, if you recall, you're not that far from where that was. So that also wouldn't strike you as strange for some of those guys to be here, some of those goblins to be here. Mm. Okay. okay, cool, just good to know. 
Skittish little buggers, I guess. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, We've all looted a body together, haven't we? Sure, I mean, from an outside perspective, could be fishy seeing a dead body with a bunch of goblins. I wouldn't want to be... If I were one of them, obviously we know the situation, but... They don't want to be pegged with the uh, blame. Yeah, probably. I wonder how often they come across undead. Curious enough to uh, ask? Mm. If I see one close enough to ask as we go down, I don't care about seeking them out, I don't think. A man I spoke to... It would be the ones to ask, though, wouldn't they? I suppose. Hmm. Maybe I would like to talk to them. <laughs> uh, there was a man named Thatcher that Good. talked to me while uh, you all were down there. Uh, he works with Bison at that dig site, and he said this is the first of any undead he's heard of, at least coming this way. Really? Um, so, not a really a broncolo thing. But maybe that's changing. Maybe. Joy of joys. As, as this is happening, Kate's just gonna kind of mutter to herself, like, I knew he was a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> said he was a ghost. I'm so smart. <laughs> I knew it right away. <laughs> Felt like a ghost. <laughs> just had big ghost energy. Like ghost vibes. <laughs> Yeah, it's continuing along. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll look yeah. for Russells to see if there's any hiding goblins like there, if, if you know, pass close by. They hid, but it's not too hard to see where they might have gone to. There's a number of small kind of underbrush and bushes and things that like a couple times kind of like there's only so much hiding you can kind of do. Okay. Uh, I mean, do we pass within 50 yards of, of one of these bushes? Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, it's just. Anybody want to try to suss out whether it's something they've seen before in this area or nearby? Uh, actually, yeah, that would, I think I'd be okay with that. I'm, I, I, I'm happy to do it myself, and I'll kind of dismount. Oh, you can dismount. Oh, here. yeah, yeah I figured with the horse going over, it might be more spooky. Sure. Huh? I'm so <laughs> weak, uh, Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> You get off and you start to kind of work your way down, yeah. sort of moving down. A, it's sort of a slight slope down toward the water, just with the mm -hmm. banks that kind of peter out. And, and as you get a little bit closer to the kind of closest rustling bush, a little head kind of comes out of the bush. And I'll stop. I promise you, I mean you no harm. We didn't kill them. I believe you. And then another head kind of... Don't say you didn't kill them. Then he's going to think we killed them. I said... I believe you. One kind of disappears. <laughs> I was just wondering, these creatures, undead, yes? Something that you come across often out here. What were you hoping to salvage from them, Matt, might I ask? I don't want... Uh, I have no interest in it. I'm curious. Weapons. Ah. The mm. goblins that don't live in Broncolo. Naughty, naughty. The goblins that don't live in Broncolo. Goblins with weapons. They've been coming to our dig site. Raiding parties. Stealing. Killing. Clark Bark went back to town to see if he could get some weapons. I'm sorry. So you are from Broncolo, but... You want to defend yourselves from the ones outside. Are we within earshot? Yeah, you can hear this conversation. Is Clark Bark still in town? Hey, I know you. Yeah. Oh. Clark Bark brought you to our dig site. Yeah. You wanted to keep Max Lab's bones. Clark Bark said no. Yes. <laughs> Clark Bark's still in town as far as I know. Perhaps we will seek him out. Well, the, the conversation progressing a little amiably, he sort of... <laughs> oh. Hopefully he doesn't find himself in a jail cell for getting weapons. Yeah. Or... Have to they, defend ourselves. Do they typically not take prisoners when it comes to your kind? Do you think he'd be killed? I don't know. Mm. I know about the truce. But we have to defend ourselves. <sighs> have you taken this to Hank Honk? Hang on, cares about the truth too much. 
He doesn't care about the other goblins coming in and... I guess they're not coming in, they're going to your digs, is what you said, yes? Not coming to town. Going to our dig site. Why choose to live with the truce instead of live with the other goblins who have weapons? Maybe make more money that way. You make more money? If we sell what's at the dig site. Mm. Safer, if you don't get killed. I think those other goblins, they're probably not selling what they're stealing. They're just keeping it for themselves. Maybe. Do I see now maybe the, what he's got, his makeshift weapon here? It's on his back, yeah. yeah. He's got it strapped on. And what's wrong with what you've got there? What, do you, what upgrade are you looking for? No replacement for his sword. How big are these raiding parties that are coming to these dig sites? Mm, sometimes a dozen at a time. Is there any one particular that gets raided more than others? One particular place? Yeah, ours. Oh, you just have the one. Well, I work for Clockbox Dig. Right. There's other ones, but that's where I work. That's that where we work. And he points at like a bush, <laughs> a tree. They don't yeah. come out, yeah. but he's sort of pointing around. Now. What is your name, sir? Sort of retreats know. a little bit. Remember, I am Morna Ishtig. My name is Bill Poof. Bill Poof. Now, Bill. Good to meet your acquaintance, sir. Bill, have you thought about, instead of burdening yourself with weapons, outsourcing? I don't know what that means. A hiring weapons. Mm. Somebody could come to that dig, beat off all those nasty other goblins. You <laughs> 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 and they would not be so inclined to return. And you wouldn't have to, you might lose a little gold or findings along the way, but not nearly as much as you would from that raid. There's already a contract at the Merc Hall. Hong Kong said so. Okay. No one's gotten rid of them yet. Well, that's, that's good to know. So nobody's yeah. taken up the charge. Or if they did, they didn't work. Sure. Well, I think maintaining that treaty is important, so... That's what Hong Kong says. Maybe there needs to be an addition to the truce of some amount of, of weapons that Mr. Clarkbart can have. You can check them out when you go to the dig site, and then you can bring them back to Mr. Hong Kong when the dig site is done. I'm just thinking out loud yeah. here. No. You should tell Hong Kong that. Yeah. A good idea. I'll pay him a visit. Leaders of the Raiders are smart. They know the land very well. They started stealing from human dig sites too. But they're smart enough not to steal from bison. Mm, Independent sites like ours, they're in trouble. Mm. That must be what we saw when we were at the Merc Hall about a day ago. Is your site um, south of Little Hollow? No. Remember we were there. That's where the Raiders are. Oh, that's where they, that's where they hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Remember we went to their site, where the griffin was. Oh, right, because there's only yeah. the one. There's only the one. I saw her there. Yes. You know where these other goblins are stationed? Yeah, people know where they are. South of Little Hollow. Yeah. And are these contracts to defend the actual dig sites that you own, or is it to eradicate them from their own camp? Get rid of the leaders. Of the raiders. Get rid of the leaders. The rest scatter. Perhaps we will help. And uh maybe we will speak with Clark Park. You say the goblins, these raiders, they know the lands very well. Yes, they're good trackers. Watch from a distance. Pick goblins off when we're not in numbers. Have to be careful all the time when we're not at the dig site. And we're not in town. Have they been here since before Broncolo the settlement? Do you know? I don't know. When did it start becoming a problem? Just within the past couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. They would come to the dig site. Mm -hmm. People are joining them because they don't like the truce. Mm -hmm. Better to fight for a leader than to get killed by one. 
Kate is gonna, gonna sling um, the backpack um, and, and pull out the bone, like what's left of the bone. <laughs> sure, yeah. And like take it out of the little bag and be like, you know, I'm gonna think, ha- I'm gonna think about helping you out here, but I'm gonna, I would think about it a little more if you told me what this is. That's a great part. <laughs> Why do I have it? <laughs> because you picked it up. I got it from one of y'all. No. You really don't want my help? I want it. But you didn't get that from us. Why do you want it? No, I want your help. I don't care about the bone. (laughs) They gave me that. Let's do it. Do you like other bones? Oh God, we're back to bones. She looked at the bones and it did excite. But why do they matter? Because they might be valuable. But wh- for what? People make potions. Are you okay, saying okay, that that okay, bone okay, right okay. there is not one of the ones from the dig site? Not one from our dig site, no. So y'all just collect certain things and, and hopes you can sell it for, for people making potions and, okay, fine, fine. We fine, were fine. mining and we found bones. Okay, okay, okay. We thought the bones might be useful. All right. Interesting. I will need to speak with Mr. Clark Bark. Mm. And Morna's gonna say good day. Mo- uh, uh, just one moment. And I'm gonna like put a finger up to the goblin and kind of turn. Kate, your artistic endeavors recently, do you think there's any harm in seeing if our friend here can translate it? Yes, I don't feel super comfortable with that. The doodle. Yeah, why not? Another set of eyes? Another language? I think that is a good idea. I still think it is not even that important. He doesn't know where it's from. Hey, take the paper out. (laughs) What does this look like to you? Though, that, (laughs) Tricky little bastard. What does it look like to you? If I can help you. Will you help us? I don't know. We have already said that we would endeavor to help you with that contract. Talking to Hank Hong. Speaking with Hank Hong. Can I see? Give it to him, Kate. (laughs) He'll give it back, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure he'll give it back. (laughs) No one say anything. Suggested. We weren't. Talk about up. If, if you, if you put, if you put snow in a bowl, the, the bird will come. That is very helpful. We have not heard that take yet, so that's helpful. Snow in the bowl, the bird will come. Okay. Snow in the bowl, the bird. Yes, bird. Guys, Are you going be, off any be. specific signals there? Is that the, the goblin symbol for bird? Just obvious. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Welker, it's obvious. All right. Okay, well, have a good one. You're gonna help us with the raiders. Sure. We'll check out the contract at the Murk Hall. Perhaps not today, but soon. Getting bolder, very bold. Are their numbers swelling? Yes. And bold maybe because of, and as he's about to say that, another one kind of <laughs> Bold because why? We can't help you without more information. Because of the numbers. Does that seem like what he was actually gonna say? Or was he gonna it. share something else? <laughs> 10. 10, kind of hard to tell. I mean, they yeah. shushed him rather abruptly, yeah. but. Uh... This conversation actually just got interesting, and now you're not talking. What were you about to say? I don't know. I wouldn't trust what they say no matter what. All right, Morna. (laughs) Morna. That was unkind. I think it's fair. If you don't, you've already given us a lot of information. We'll go to the Merc Halls, check it out, and then perhaps we can figure out exactly what you were about to say 
after we give a bit more. Okay. All right. He points to the sort of uh, corpses of the undead. If they had weapons, can we have them? <sighs> if you find weapons on them, you can keep them. That is your own funeral. You should take them. Okay. Hmm. We didn't tell I, you We that. don't endorse that. <laughs> we didn't tell you to. We looked the other way. It's important to do things the right way. And I think, speaking with Hank Honk, we can do things the right way. Oh my yeah. god, can we please continue? Yeah. All right. Everybody journey. give me perception checks. Oh, shit. I'll you honor it. Yeah. Okay. 16. 15. 23. Dirty 20. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off all of you. Your eyes rolled so hard you can't see a thing. You went with your, your fucking skull. The noise of the sort of just the general conversation that's being had and the nearby running water, it's not sort of gushing, rushing water, but a little bit of trickling along the banks here, has for a little bit of a time masked some of the other sounds of the wilds. Though there is the occasional sort of <laughs> screech from a bird kind of flying overhead or a pronounced <laughs> splashing from a fish breaching the water or a goose taking flight from the surface. At this moment, however, a pair of less innocuous noises creep in. And one of them is the distant rumbling of a, what feels like a dry thunderstorm. There's no precipitation to be seen or felt, yet there are roars of kind of embattled weather fading in and out. And if you look off into the distance, the sky is darkening in some places, but again, no rainfall that you can see from any kind of distance. The second series of sounds that you hear is something you've heard rather recently. Oh God. You're biggie. And as you look <laughs> into the trees, Ringworm time. you see a giant boar kind of coming through the trees. Not just one giant boar, but a second oh. one. Oh, okay. You see a second one, and then a third one, and a fourth one. How Three, close maybe they? four, a hundred feet off, maybe a little okay. more. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a fifth one. Maybe what? half right. a dozen of them. Okay. And they're all sort of slowly kind of creeping forward like an economical little stampede of boar. And they start to pick up a little bit of speed. Um, right. Get out of the way. way. Uh, Get out of the way. As they do so, <laughs> you notice that their level of coordination with some of these higher perception rolls is immediately suspect. The sort of synchronicity with which they all begin to pick up speed. Oh, they and sit. as they close in, you can see that crouched low on their backs in a kind of jockey posture are lightly armored goblins oh clinging my. to the animals thick oh fur. God, and as yeah. the yes, as the goblins had sort of imparted to you, they track and try and pick off little groups of goblins when they leave the dig site. So a number of these sort of boar riding goblins begin to kind of come in on these boar. And now that the jig is up, you can see more goblins emerging, ones that aren't mounted on uh, boar, in the trees, sort of coming out with sort of basic weapons, spears, swords, shields, a little raiding party that seems to be searching for fresh spoils. And while they may have initially been tracking Clark Park's companions, you can see in their eyes that they're happy to, see, you know, maybe see what they can find on your corpses should the opportunity present itself. You have an opportunity to do something really quick as they kind of close in. I mean, about how many? Can it we... looks like five or six boar riders, yeah. and then maybe seven or eight on foot goblins. Do any of them look like they might be the leaders? Give me. Uh, what was? Do you remember what your perception check was? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. There does indeed, one of the boar riders looks like they have some standing features that stand out to you. Um, he's a little sort of bulkier. He has some, uh, he has kind of a pot belly that sort of makes his armor bulge a little bit. He has a necklace that looks like it's made of teeth, like animal teeth, like it's like a little string necklace that has teeth dangling off of it. And he also has what looks like a very sort of badly broken nose that never quite healed right. So it looks like almost his face is kind of pointed in two different directions at once because his nose is off to the side and the rest of his face is pointing forward. So, and, and that one is sort of in the behind most of the others. So he's kind of mm -hmm. pointing ahead and having the charge go forward. Yeah. So all this is happening. Was With there the something dirty 20, do I also get that or not? Uh, yeah, we'll say if okay. you rolled over 20, I'll say that you can notice the uh, the one that looked different than the rest of them. I'm gonna I mean, 
Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna say flight or fight. I'm gonna <laughs> point out fighting. the. What? I'm gonna point out the leader and say it's supposedly a 250 gold payout if we kill both the goblin raider leaders. There's one of them over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one, the goblin you were talking to, goes into the lake. <laughs> Sort of splashes. He looks yep. like he's kind of running. Bailing? Somebody with a long range weapon want to take a I'm shot? I'm get my long initiative for everybody, please. Ah! Oh boy. Oh no. Oops. Um. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Let's get some initiative. Sometimes you, have this, um, sometimes you do, initiative. or sometimes you don't. Are all of the goblins appearing to be booking it? Uh, all of the ones, yes, that were like uh, that you were speaking to, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. One of them kind of jumps out of the bush and stuff, and, and then just sort of jumps into the water there. Okay. So uh, these are the goblins. Up here? Yes. So did everybody have their screens on here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let me bring this up. So we have a whole bunch of goblins here, and here's the like boar rider ones that are mounted oh, on to the boar back there. Oh my god. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then this boy back here, who's a little bit of a different color there, looks to be the leader in the back there, who gotcha. seems to be denoted. And then there's a number of small ones that are on foot with sort of crude swords and shields that are charging forward as well. So that's what you guys are seeing. All right. Now you guys have came, come to talk to the goblins over here. So you're mostly all crowded around this area, horse. including the horse, which you had dismounted. Oh Somebody help me back up. Uh, well, since I go. had a, a sec, like, can I help TC back onto the horse as my uh, like, sure. moment? Round one. Um, give me one second, I'm gonna place people. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, initiative 20 to 25. 15 to 19? 16. 16. 17. Oh, damn. Okay, so. I think I out dex you. You though. definitely. So. 17 is 8. 8. 16 TC, 16 Morna. Uh, um, and we'll say these are some of the little goblins you were talking to, but they all look like they're in the process of fleeing yeah, to in various GTFO directions. And, yes. None of them look like they're currently planning on sticking around to fight. Okay, uh, uh, 10 nice. to 14. 13. Actually, 13 too, I think. Hey. Yeah, 13, what's your deck? 13. <laughs> 14. Oh, okay. Right, so. Nice. So, this is great. Alien. Okay. Oh, you don't know. Goblins might roll bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna just divvy up the goblins into sort of foot soldiers, boar yeah. riders, and the leader. leader. Okay. Um, the uh, boar riders have a 14. Uh, the regular foot soldiers have a 13. Okay, hold on, hold on. Do they go behind the two of them, maybe? What's their dex? I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, their dex is a plus. Uh, you might need the end, don't we? Plus two. Uh, so is. I have a 13, so plus one. Oh, so, okay. boar riders are 14, uh, I'm a, I'm, including the plus two. I'm a dex of 14 as well, plus two. You'll go first, so we'll give the player character okay, so, the benefit of that. Okay, so Doxley followed by who rolled the Boar other? rider. Boar, I thought they were a 14. Oh, yes, they were a 14. Sorry, I thought that's yes. what you were asking. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Who the foot is soldiers yes. matched Thank the two you. of them. Thank yes. Great. And then Alien. Okay, what's the leader? And then I have one. Uh, uh, 11. Nice. Right. Last. Wow, last but 11. Look at you guys go. Yeah, so, okay, we got. She's first, baby. Me... Oh, I thought Kate was first. You oh, you're right. Shit, okay. sorry. <laughs> so, we got Kate, TC, Morna, Four Riders, Doxley, Foot Soldiers, Ilian, and Leader. Is that what you have, Anne? Kate, TC, Morna, Doxley, Four Riders. Sol- you're right. Four Riders, Doxley. Foot soldiers, alien leader. Bingo, bongo, Woo! we're in business. In addition, uh, Doxley is the only one who does not have a surprise round. They're not really surprised, but you guys noticed them so far away. Everyone rolled well enough. That was your natural one uh, perception. Oh, you said I don't have a surprise. I, I was confused. Yes, you do not get a surprise round. Oh. They all get to oh. act one. So everyone's Got surprised, it. including Doxley, I guess, technically. Oh. And you, so you guys basically have a round to prep, act, do stuff. So you could help TC onto the horse, so you have a little bit of Thanks, movement here to act. So, because you were able to notice them from so far away that you were Mounted kind of spring combat. into action quickly enough. Oh, sick, um, yeah. Yes, there is a lot of opportunities for mounted combat. 
Um, but before we dive oh, into a fight, that is where we're going to take a break. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to. But I want to fight you now. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get my snack. Yes, yeah, so we can think yeah. about That's strategizing. Snack. So once again, here I'll zoom out <laughs> in the battlefield. So they're they're pretty far away. Far away. Um, the yeah. riders are yeah, 150 oh, feet away. 140, 150 feet away. Okay. Um, and then a number of little guys sort of charging in behind them as well. Okay. So, so that's what we're seeing there. Awesome. All right, Sick. Goblin Raiders on the prowl. Little oh, bastards. That's Ooh, where we're going to pick it up. Thank you so much for joining us. We're on our way back to Brunkhala, but a little bump in the road. There always seems to be. Yeah. Um, yeah, this pass has been a, a bit of a, a bit of a ball breaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take right. a break. Get your see power ball numbers Get ready. Get your power ball yeah. ready. See you back in 15 minutes. Don't see go ya. anywhere. Here we go. Stay. Bye. Follow, oh subscribe, and like, then comment. In that order, follow, subscribe, and like, then comment. In that order. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> we hope you had a nice break. Stretch your legs, have a snack. But it's combat time. Yeah. Right after I lied, I right after you thank some people. Right but uh, then it will be combat. Yeah, time. let's go. Okay, where did I leave off? Uh, okay, um, fading at the edges. Uh, three stream streak. Cave on cave. <laughs> seven stream streak. Excellent on five stream streak. Castaway uh, cactus resubscribe. Mahi Mahi Boxer did 333 Mahi bits. Mahi Mahi, Mahi Mahi Boxer gifted a sub and then another sub and then another sub. Castaway Cactus did 750 bits. Helljack did 17 Thank bits. Chewinga. I love that. Chewinga. Isn't that genius? <laughs> Came on Clave gifted a sub. Mahi Mahi did 227. Boney Jaboni resubscribe. Frank and Carver subscribed. Helljack 93 bits. Beard acknowledged. Sensu Streak. Helljack 104 bits. Ali Slayer resubscribed. Mahi Mahi 567 gifted 89 gifted subs. Uh -huh. Holy moly. Thank Keep you. Keep counting. Oh. <laughs> Brownie did 500 bits and then going for every gift to the sub. Or no, sorry, resubscribe. Thank you very, very much. Thanks. Thank Incredible. Thank you. Cheers. All right, now that the table thoroughly smells like Cheez-Its, it is time sorry. for the initiative order. <laughs> no explanation needed. We, oh, let's bring up the old map Stop there. Me. There we go. We've got uh, Goblin on boars charging in and to recap, we have Kate, TC, Morna, Boar Riders, Doxley, the Footman, Ilian, and the Goblin Leader coming in last with 11. I'm still surprised by that. We almost had the recap. That's back. what I was saying. Second, oh, you fell off. <laughs> <laughs> fell off. Kate, TC, Morna, yeah. Boar Riders. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, he should, he should narrate the battle. Yeah. Oh my god. And here's the Boar Riders coming in. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Please. Yeah. Awesome. Um, TC, let's loose. So, in addition, we have a surprise round that excludes uh, Doxley yeah. and the goblins, as you guys were able to perceive them from quite a distance away between the trees. So, we start with Kate. What would you like to do? There is not much I can do, I guess, besides try to get go straight towards them. <laughs> Yes, um, you can try and find, you can always do what's called a held action, holding an action, which is like, if you crouch behind a tree or a rock, you can say, if a creature comes within, you know, five yeah. feet of me, I bop him or something okay, like cool. that. Okay, cool. And this is like um, a full turn that I get to That right takes now. an action. Yeah, yeah, you have a full turn. Yep. You okay, yeah, yeah. Turn. So I'm going to I'm gonna get as far as I can. Great. What's your total move speed? 45. 45. 45 gets you pretty close to that rock there. Yeah, okay, so I guess I would hold my action behind that rock. Sure, you can, sort of right here. I'm gonna, my goal is like, hopefully somebody comes close enough that I can whip and pull them off of there. Sure, you could hold a, a whip. Yeah. yeah. You could hold a, uh, hold a whip, a grabbing whip. Yeah. Um, and is there anything else, bonus action or anything? Um, I don't know if there's anything. I don't want to spend any key points yet. So okay, gonna... this is just a tactical round anyway. Yeah. TC, what would you like to do? Help me up! <laughs> and I'm gonna start <laughs> trying to mount my mount. I think uh, in mounting combat rules, it just takes half your movement to mount up. Um, with Ooh. the additional uh, difficulty given your leg, I'm gonna say it takes 20 instead of 15. Okay, so that means I have to dash, right? Because uh, yeah. in order to get up, because your movement is 15. is 15. Yeah, so I'm gonna say you have to use your dash to get all the way up on the horse. Well, I could cunning action dash. Yes, that's true. Um, but do I have to, I don't know, like, 
normally if I would do dash, I would have fall unless somebody caught it. No, because you're using it to get the extra movement, okay. not to move further. So if you're willing to use your cunning action, we'll say you're able to mount the horse. All right, so okay. uh, movement, cunning action, mm -hmm. and I don't get any extra movement to move on the horse, do I? So when you have a controlled mount, <gasps> well, here, we'll talk about a little bit of awesome. mounted combat quick reference. New for me. Um, controlling a mount. It has the same uh, initiative order as you when you mount it, or it matches you when you, um, it moves as you direct it, and it only has three actions, dash, disengage, or dodge, which you get to pick. And it moves and acts on the turn that you mount it as well. So nice. the horse has, here, I'll give you the movement speed. I think it's 40, but. Uh... Morna can go as far as a horse can go? At, Morna's at, a, a, at horse. a full sprint. <laughs> Morna the stallion. I lied. It's sixty feet. So hey. not quite. Yeah, sixty uh, feet on horseback. You're like two thirds of a horse. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, you take the like horse's a, turn right now. Or centaur, half a centaur, Get two thirds out of, of a centaur. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Centaur centimeter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what does sixty feet? Uh, out of there look like, because we're kind of not trapped here, but like, just, I mean, you can always go in the water, it's shallow. Yeah, you're on the little sort of edge of the lake here and the river, but um, 60 feet would take you, I mean, 60 feet would take you basically to the, right around the edge of that rock. Okay, there. and how far are the, uh, are they? I think we said like 140, yeah, like 130, oh, 40 feet. Yeah. Oh my God, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm whipping out there, I'm going the full 60. Mm -hmm. Um. See there? Yeah. I'm taking out my crossbow, and and Kate pointed out the leader. Yes. Do I yeah. have a sense of where that uh, is? Oh, yes. He's now. yes. He's uh in the back of the pack there. Okay. He's a hundred feet away. Okay. But and can I see him? Give me a perception check, and this is gonna have to be very high, Ooh. but possible. Twenty one. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Because cover uh, with my sharpshooter. Yes. Cover rules if, if, if you if you didn't have sharpshooter, Ooh. I wouldn't let you take Damn. the shot. DC, like, there's like a number of branches in the way, but you kind of you pull the horse into a spot Whoa. where you can like see the branches all line up. So hot. Work as one, sweet thing, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna like line up, get up, and and fire off at the at the leader there. Okay. Um, Give me an attack roll. You, this is a surprise round. Uh, yes. Do I get advantage? Not as an You're un not an unseen I'm attacker. not unseen? Yep. You are not an unseen All right, uh, yeah, just a flat. Um, not using sharpshooter. No, I'm not gonna use sharpshooter. <laughs> not yet. Um, <laughs> wow. It's a natural two. Nine to hit. You have a moment there where everything lines up, but just as you're about to fire, the horse just kind of kicks up, and it kind of goes through some of the branches there. Stupid beast! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. I will. Which is expensive. All right, all right, all right. So then I will. I still have um. I still have an action for the horse Ooh, here. I could. Oh. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Um. Yeah, they're swarming in. There's enough room for everybody to get by me there. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There's okay. There, yeah. I'm gonna have the horse take the dodge action. Okay. Um. Great. Yeah. And hang there for now. Great. You do so. Uh, that's just on the horse, not on. Yeah, like if they targeted the no. horse. Great. Morna's next. All right, Morna, you're up. I don't want to rage if they're too far away. Yeah. That's the only reason. <laughs> no, I do want to rage because I don't want to get fucking shot in the face. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna dash as close as I can towards those motherfuckers. Uh -huh. Um, so that's 80 feet. Okay, 40 is gonna take you kind of just past Kate there, and then dashing by, you can kind of hover in the trees here. You yeah. wanna go pretty much straight forward. Great, yeah, Great. that works for me. Okay. Um, And that's, ugh, I'm, I'm confused about whether or not I should just rage now. Mm. <clears throat> no, because if I don't get hit before my next turn, yeah, I'm gonna hold. You okay. can't like hold a rage either. No, you can't hold a rage. No, I don't want to. I don't want to risk not getting hit. So okay, here we go. Okay, the riders. Uh, uh, it's the surprise round. Passed oh, by the riders. Great. That takes us. Doxley's also not part of that. Uh, the footmen are not. Iliad. Ah, uh, if I go west. Having seen, <laughs> I have to. Really? I, I see that this is important, <laughs> but I'm going to go west. Are the goblins <laughs> to the west? The west well, call. Right. Win some, lose some. 
Um, <laughs> having seen where the leader was, yes. if I get kind of into the water, there's is there like a streamlined line of sight that I have? Like, um, and move onto that beach? Is there like a, through those trees there? He would definitely have at least partial cover, depending on where you kind of end up. But it's possible. Uh, okay, and then maybe. There's too many far... trees to not have any cover unless you have a sharpshooter ability. Right. Um, how far is the boulder? It's like uh, it was, 40 feet? Yeah, uh, yeah, like 50, uh, 55 ish. Like Kate is 40 away from you, about. Longbow wants to see some action, but I think I'm just gonna run and dash. Uh, okay. And this is still a surprise Morta. round? Or? Yeah, let's go full movement at Morna. Uh, okay, right. Uh, with dash. Yeah, with dash. And that's eight, uh, and 60. 60, right? Yeah. Yep. So you pretty much get right up next to TC there. Cool. On the horse. That's it. Okay. All right, top uh, of the line. Okay, so we circle back now. Kate, you're up again. Okay. I'm gonna run 45 more feet. Okay. You can kind of go, you can hop up over the brick there. That gets you pretty much right up to where Morna is. Okay. Um, and then if, so if I want to, so a step of the wind is a key point to take dash as a bonus action. So yep. do I have to do something before I do that? No. Nope. No? Okay. Spend then Spend the key point. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Great. Just as she gets up to Morna, you see her kind of take a quick and ah, so cool. <laughs> sprint. Uh, it's 45 yeah. you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't quite reach the closest person How there. far away are they from me now? Uh, Ten ah! feet? Well, my whip oh, is ten. Uh, I will say... Uh, I yes. think you're within the oh, eight. Ten foot right. DM reach for the sky. I'm gonna say no. That, it's no. only five. It's only five. I thought it was ten. It's only five. It, what I think that was ten. Wait, Wait really? Yeah. No, it's the just, whip. This weapon adds five feet to your. Adds feet. five oh. feet, and you already have five foot. Five foot's <laughs> the default melee. Oh. Right? You weren't naturally going like okay, this. I thought, <laughs> okay, I thought it was five ten. <laughs> that seemed okay. It's great. Um, <laughs> you, I'm gonna say you can't reach the <laughs> goblin. You can reach the boar. So I guess I can try to pull the board. You could try and right? yes, you could try and because well, you're allowed to try and pull it prone, right? Yep. Knock it prone. Mm -hmm. So if you were to knock mm -hmm. the board prone, the goblin would fall off. Trip of it, or right? pull a creature. Yeah. Yeah. So you may indeed. Okay. okay. So she yeah. takes out the, as she's running forward, takes the whip. <laughs> Go ahead and give me. a regular me... d20 first, right? Yes, yeah. I think it has to hit with an attack roll, uh -huh. and then it makes a save or something after when that. When you attack with this weapon, you can make a special melee attack to trip or pull. Um, deals no damage. Target makes a strength or dexterity check against your ability safe DC. Great, so yeah. first you just have to see if it hits. Okay, great. So go ahead and do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. You do. I do. Always you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the bull whip has a plus. They're all well, I, haven't, I haven't whipped in forever. <laughs> it's 14. 14. Whip it up. So <laughs> it, you wrap it around the foot of the boar, and then you give it a yank, and it's gonna, what kind of save does it make? Um, uh, the, uh, strength or dexterity. Strength or dexterity. And what's the size of the boar? Uh, it is large. So that means... Yeah, size advantage. large or smaller. Yeah, so but... A large creature has advantage. Large creature has advantage, okay. And it's, uh, it's gonna do a strength save. 14? 15. 15's your save. Oh, you wrap the whip around awesome. the boar's legs and yank as hard as you can and... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, piggy! So that both, uh, so that creature, the Everyone boar is gonna fall to prone. Apologizing to the people that we're and trying then to kill. This guy, is, this guy's gonna make a save to see if he can land on his feet there. He easily lands on his feet there. Oh. So he doesn't oh. fall prone, but he does fall to the ground there. Okay, nicely done. Mm. Okay, TC. Wait, was, wasn't that her oh held action though? Doesn't she get another one? Uh, no, the held action goes away at the start oh, of the round. You can only hold it for one round. That's my until sense. Um, okay, TZ, you're up. Um, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna start taking some horsey movement, uh, kind of northeast to get a better line of sight on the um, leader there. Great, how far do you wanna go? Um, Very fast. Hold, hold uh, uh, come back a little more east to hold, no, sorry, more east, yeah, yeah. This way? Yeah, yeah. so yeah, about 50 there. Sure. Uh, and somewhere along there, I'll take a shot at the, um, at the leader there. Great. Uh, it's within 120. I it is when you need. That will be a 19 to 19 hit. 19 will hit. Okay. Nice. Uh, <laughs> 1d6. There's <laughs> <laughs> no sneak attack or anything like that. Um, oh my God, what's my plus Eight. Eight piercing nice. damage. Eight piercing nice. damage. Excellent. Yes. Great. Yes. <laughs> Flies through the branches and. You see, surprised that one that you bothered to target him kind of out of all the targets, mm. but also that you made that shot. Mm. Um, and I think we have this. <gasps> How much damage was it again? Eight. 
Eight damage. Piercing. They call me TC the Piercer. Oh, Wait, no, that's no, P. No. <laughs> Are you the Are you uh, serious? Piercer. <laughs> uh, that's another word for piercing that starts with C. The clicker. The, the cleric. Huh? I don't think that one's working. The, Alt N. The cutter. The, the cutter. Ah, the cutter. Eight piercing? Eight piercing. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, the clipper. Does he have the damage? I don't see it. Oh, no. The critical. Is it there if you I click Yep, on? it's doing that same thing. I oh. Oh, no. 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 What mini are you using? One of the default. Oh boy. What what the the it's not, it's not Damn. your fault. Damn, what in uh, the world? I'll describe it more with more detail. Please. Yes, please. Come please. up with other words that start with C. That not. aren't actually C? <laughs> they, yes, Chooch. they call me the man. Um, <laughs> That's a really good one. <laughs> they call me the space cowboy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Some people call me the space cowboy. Uh, Some people call yeah. me Maurice. Getting, getting a little more uh, uh, intuitiveness with the horse. TC makes a, 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 a little curve towards the east and just picks out the, the goblin's thigh on the way. He's got a wow. skinny little thigh, but he finds the, the little wow. the meat, the meat of the, the, ooh, the sinewy meat of the goblin. Uh, TC loves a meaty thigh. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, you, you were mad at me. me. <laughs> you were mad at me. I'm stalling. <laughs> 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 um, and uh, yeah, it makes mm. makes hard eye contact with the leader. Good shot, good shot. Um, nice. And looks around for applause. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, it's like family feud. Everyone do as I do. Good answer. All right, um, we're on our way back slowly. Yay! Um, we, I'm probably going to do what I did before, which is use a wheel to track the HP. Okay. Mm-hmm. What are the odds right. that the other goblins what scatter did you get before kill the leader? Nothing. Maybe Zero? Good. You said something was Maybe good. Rookie. I just don't want to kill all of them. Oh, there's like a waste of hit of key point. No, they're attacking us. So it's your fault. It's do your I, fault for dealing damage. What's wrong? Yeah. Uh, do I notice anything else about the leader? I mean, uh, now the uh, eyes on him. I mean, is it, even though your sharpshooter gives you too much stuff in the way to sort of discern okay. any particular details. All right. Um, all right, we're on our way back. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay, that was the leader to eight damage. Well, since so you attacked and you used the horse, you still have yeah. some movement and the horse's other action. Is there anything That's else? Like, and oh my, my god. Like, well, is it my fault? Well, well, you can't use your movement while you're on the horse. Unless no, oh. like a cunning action. Yes. Like, um, like you can't dash. Uh, can't, yeah, but I. God, what are my other cunning actions? Um, hide. Uh, 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 disengage. Yeah, hide. Disengage. Silent reenactment of Into the Woods going on over here. I see. Dash doesn't engage your hide. Yeah, I can't hide <laughs> while I'm on the horse, right? So like, you could, but the horse also needs to be obscured, so which is very unlikely. In yeah. This particular, you need to be well, well out of sight. Yeah. I'm not crazy. You can move like because they know that you're off the horse. So. Yeah. I also have stuff I could I could fast For hands that I could throw something. I can't wait to throw my hands. <sighs> There wasn't really a kind of it? grouping of goblins. Not yet, because they haven't moved yet, so they haven't kind of all converged. And an the alchemist French fire really only yeah. takes up like a five foot area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I think we have um, Up to 20 feet. It really doesn't have much of an AOE. It's yeah. just the object or creature that you throw it out. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so that's not a good, uh, all right. <clears throat> Deirdre, can you read some of the other funny phrases that are on our new merch mug? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, I can. It says, um, I always have potatoes. <laughs> I still got my rope. Uh, I love that theory. Let's see. Totally normal human things. Yeah. Uh, Goryeo Nan, mean people. Powerball. Piece, piece of paper that says shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Skywolf. Skywolf is on there. Skywolf. One of our other wonderful it, tales of ringworm. Uh, yes, it does right, say ringworm. Good, good. I hid the naughty words behind the logo. Oh, <laughs> yes, you can take you it there. What is this loser or something? A uh, loser with the piss colored vest. With oh. the piss oh. colored vest. Damn it. That's good. I want to see that card. Right, so almost bad. back. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Big boy thumper. Yeah, baby. Boy thumper. Oh man, I, um, I need a big boy thumper. <laughs> as <laughs> as Dillian's running into battle, he's like, you know what I could use right now? A big boy thumper. Oh, I need that savage thumper. 
Yeah. I guess yeah. if anything, I might just move the horse a little bit more. Although the horse could dash, right? Mm -hmm. I could. Sure could. I could run yep. some circles. Don't forget to open the symbiote uh, panel real quick. I will do that. Oh yeah, it does. Why? Did, why are you punching people? Oh, I think it's like well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Here, look a little closer. My fists are bleeding. Oh, oh, oh my god. Is there moisturizer? Yeah, I have some right Yeah, here. Anthony always has a Anthony is so moist. He's so moist. Anthony's got a whole little, little like, a, yeah. like, a like, a, like a vanity. I've got, got that the, 24 hour don't moisture. Don't do that. Don't stop <laughs> it. Do that. Can I change tables? <laughs> Who we'll wants to, to switch seats with we'll me? Have to. He's the one taking his clothes off. I know, it's, it's a little hot in here now, <laughs> after I have to get... It's mm. getting sexy in getting here. Oh, that horse getting so hot. Alright, I'm taking yeah, this yeah, back. Yeah, give let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. Oh, Regular size. There we go. Oh. Okay, we're back. So, what right. we're gonna do is use the uh, little wheels again. So, that was eight damage. Eight damage. So we're gonna go up instead of down. There we go. Okay, eight damage. <laughs> there we go. Look how long it took. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bullet. <laughs> okay. Uh, movement. All right. Yes. Anything Could else? I see a little more? Um, uh, those those bushes that are like just southeast of me. I couldn't kind of get behind there to obscure. Or, or you could attempt to. The, the, okay. the, it's just the ho they know you're on the horse yeah. at this point. You've been seen, so they beat you. The the contest for hiding would not just be for you, it would be for the horse as well. Okay. All right, well, I, I think the horse still just had, I, I moved like 30 then? You used 50. 50? Yeah. Oh, so I only got 10 more. Yeah, without, but you have a dash as well. Yeah, yeah but I think I want the horse to take the dodge. Okay. Um, so I'll just stay there, horse takes dodge. Okay. Yeah. All right, that takes us to more now. Okay, I'm gonna roll for my perfectly normal rain. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my gosh, please. Uh, uh, and I easily pass. Oh, fuck no! You. Uh, fuck you, fuck you. No. Bummer. Um, damn it. I got the lightning. I hear that thunder rumbling. <laughs> Get out. And I'm gonna um, run uh, as towards the closest goblin, which I, I think, think that's is, the one that Kate's heading to. Yeah. You. yeah. So 45 takes you, or you're 40, right? 40, I'm 40, yep. yeah. 40 takes you there. How far away am I from him now? Um, like, oh. Oh, no. What is that? No. oh god, we've gone all we've gone all one. Sky Wolf? Sky I don't think it's gonna wolf. Sky Wolf. Well, I can do it this way. Yeah, it's about fifteen feet away. Okay. I'm going to throw I don't know what that is. Oh, <laughs> What's going on? Like a license plate? Like a European license plate? Yeah. That board has a brand on it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Is that like some Latin ipso facto? Oh, I don't know. Okay, what would you like to do? I'm gonna throw barb at him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was on uh, um, at the boar of the goblin. Ask, to be clear, at the said, goblin. Okay. I did that. Um, so I'm gonna sorry. put that to. You. I like cup the back of her head. Seventeen plus five, so that's that's it. <laughs> that will definitely hit. Okay. It's like a, it's like a and then um, don't have an HR. <laughs> chill, guys. Everybody, chill. Okay. Roll. I hope you feel. comfortable. Six plus two, so eight piercing damage. Eight piercing damage, excellent. I, I, so this one I might be two as well. Oh, you're great. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I, oh gosh, I have a second attack, but I can't do anything with it because I'm Not too far enough, yeah. away. Um, that's, I guess, all I can do. Okay. And remember that Barb is stuck in the or yeah. you know, on the yes. ground next to him. All right, riders. All right, finally the riders get to charge in here, so they're gonna kind of swarm from a different, bunch of different angles here. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, what is it? what is this? Oh god, we have random boars showing oh, up. Boar? No, this boar is not. Oh. Get out of here! Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> this one. Let's do the movement first. Oh, god. 40, great, that gets in range of both of them. Uh, this one, 30, and then another 10, doesn't quite get them there. And this one, can I ask, what, if my horse takes a disengage, do I also have to take a disengage to not get Those are separate. Ooh, yes. weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we can both 40. do it and move, because we're, we're... Uh, and then this guy is one of the war riders as well. So uh, <laughs> you and Daisy this one off. had to dash, so that one's dashing to get up to you. <laughs> Moron. Um, this one is dashing to get up to them. This one's dashing as well. He's gonna kind of do a little charge at Ilium there. Hey, buddy. 
and then uh, the so one of them is attacking, and one of them is off his board. He's going to attack as well. So this one here that charges up to Morna and Kate, you see him. He's grabbing onto the scruff of the boar, and as you get close enough, you see him kind of dig his nails in, and the boar <laughs> goes for like a tusk attack up and underneath. Whoa. That's scary. Tusks are bad. They're razor sharp. <laughs> oh, that movie oh, scared the shit. Tusks. Oh, don't talk about oh. tusks. Uh, that is a nineteen to hit. Oh yeah, that'll hit me. Uh, okay, and it has the charge ability. If the boar moves at least 20 oh. feet straight forward and hits it with a tusk attack, Ow. which it did, does an extra 2d6 slashing. Oh roll. my, extra 2d6. Um, and I need you to give me a strength saving throw. Oh, okay. <laughs> but to get ragdolled, girl. Kate's like, ooh. 15. Nice. 15, you save, you're not knocked prone, okay. but you take an 11 uh, slashing damage. Halved. Halved, yep. Down so to five, to gets five. rounded down. So, hits you with the tusks. Okay. And then the other one, this one is going to, uh, he's got a little bow and he's gonna fire at Kate here with his little blow. Oh. Uh, that is a 15 to hit. That's my, <laughs> that's the I don't think so. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's not. I mean, you can get hit by it if you want. No, it's not. It's really not. Great, so he misses that. That <laughs> is the boar rider. So that takes us to Doxley. All right, where am Doxley's I going to end this? Doxley's going way door. in the back. You're mainly seeing at this point like... that one of the boar riders has charged right up to Ilian there. You can definitely see that. Oh, okay, how far am I from that? I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're fine. Oh, you can move me 30 you're feet. You're about 55 feet. Yeah, Great, you're 30, 30 feet. Great. All right, and then I'm gonna throw a little javelin at that guy. Uh, okay. Goblin or boar? Ooh, great question. Mm. Uh, goblin. Okay. Um. Okay, here I go. Wish me luck. Ooh, okay. That is, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> uh, that's a 17 to hit. That will hit. Okay, yeah, yeah. so let's see. Oh, uh, a piercer feet. I rolled a nice. one, so I'm gonna re-roll. Nice. Hey, oh. Oh. Six, baby! <laughs> oh, <laughs> feels good. Uh, so that is 10 piercing. 10. Nice. Um, Zero's and, and ooh, I've got fucking stuff for days. Um, um, does that keep him on the board? Uh, he, he did not have to make a save for that, yeah. Okay, cool. Can I, if I use trip attack, would that be like essentially knocking him off the board and making yes. him go prone? Yep. All right, let's use trip Does attack. It, it can knock him prone, is that what it is? Yes. He would fall off if he was knocked prone, yes. Great, cool, cool, let's do that. So go ahead and make a strength saving throw. Saving throw. Uh, six. Fails, and then I get to add another Ooh. D8. Nice. D8 to the roll. <laughs> Sick. Great. Roll. That's cool. Fuck, only two! Oh my god! Hey, uh, you had a good roll. Two damage, damage great. Um, great. And then, I guess that'll be my turn. So when he gets thrown from the boar, you can see that the boar no longer being kind of gripped by the scruff, kind of... Oh. Like it doesn't really know what to do now that it's not kind of huge. Orders. Go there. Back, okay. Uh, okay. That's my turn. All right. I think that takes us to the little foot soldiers charging Boys. in here. There's so gonna be a lot of dashing going on. Foot boys. Uh, foot boys. <laughs> six, uh, six, uh, six, uh, that's with dash. Uh, he has to dash to get there. He does not. Uh, he's gonna go up to paint there. Move. One attack on Kate. I guess we'll do the order. One, uh, attack on. He's gonna <laughs> two little slices with his short sword there. Um, Fifteen to hit. No. Dirty twenty to hit. Uh, and you take uh, seven <laughs> slashing damage. Seven. seven. <clears throat> okay. Uh, sharp little buggers. This guy has to dash as well. They're kind of surrounding Kate over here. This guy has to dash as well. He's gonna go, so that's 15, hey, that's 10 more. He's gonna kind of circle around here. <laughs> and then we have two over here that are both gonna kind of 60 feet, sort of charging through the trees. Yeah, 30 feet feet. Feet. Uh, well, 30 dash. Yeah. No, I just said, right, like, as a yeah. small. Oh, they're quick. Yeah. Little baby creature? Um, I think that's all the foot soldiers? Yes, it is. Okay, that takes us to Um, Do I have line of sight of Kate? 
Can you see uh, how surrounded Cape is? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, there's some trees in the way, but it's not so dense that you can't see that there's clearly a lot of uh, creatures around her. Great. I'm going to go and attack the goblin that got knocked prone here. Okay, great. Advantage. Charge over with big sword. Oh, advantage. He's like knocked down. He looks up, sees Illions. <laughs> sword coming down. Perfect. Oh, that's huge. That's 26. That will definitely All hit. right, and then I'm going to use... Uh, the I'm goblin cleaver. <laughs> so I'm going to call out to Kate. Uh, hey, don't get see yourself surrounded now. What? <laughs> and, uh, it's like, thanks for your attitude. <laughs> um, you can Is he take drunk? the action to move half of your movement speed without provoking opportunity attacks. Ooh. Oh, so I can run away. Yes, without provoking opportunity attacks. Wow. Okay. So half your speed, what, 22 and a half or whatever? Oh, 22 and a half. Where would you like to go? Oh, uh, I. Uh, uh, the leader is the leader's behind me. With he is team. over here. Oh, he's, he's all the way over there. Yep. He hasn't gone yet. Someone get in close with the leader. Yeah, I'll, I'll head that way. I mean, can I run through those trees? It's difficult terrain, so uh, what you had 22 and a half total. Yeah. Uh, you basically are kind of in the bushes here. Or uh, if you kind of go. Can I go around? You can yeah. sneak past this guy and then kind of wind up like up here. Yeah. Okay, great. Great. Um, so and nice. 14 slashing with the. 14 slashing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. And then I'm gonna take my movement to just run towards Morna. Okie dokie. That's all. That's all she wrote. Just 30, right? Yeah. Such a mobile group. Leader. Uh, okay, the leader. Right. He is seeing uh, Kate charging towards him and no fear in his eyes at all. He's gonna take out his uh, short bow and he kind of draws this big heavy drawback and goes. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that sucks. That's an 11 to hit <laughs> and a 22 to hit. Okay. Now. Can I grab it? Oh, you use your reaction for uh, his oh, movement. Yeah, it, was a reaction. it takes a reaction, it I think. Reaction. Oh. You, could. you could normally, but not at this moment. Yeah. Uh, so you take uh, uh, eight piercing damage. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and All the way he back is down also going to move, sure. move on his boar there. Is he getting closer to the To general? the crowd, yeah, to the hubbub. Yeah. Ooh, what a clusterfuck it is in there. <laughs> Top of the All right, list. that takes right. us to eight. Oh, I'm back. Getting close if you can. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to run over towards him. <laughs> Through this little pass here, you yeah. pop out of the trees. And once again, um, try to trip his uh, poor... Go for the bull. Great. Pork. His pork. pork is trip. <laughs> trip is pork. Give me a attack roll with the whip on the boar. Hey. That was a thirteen. Thirteen. Plus that will hit. Yeah. With my oh, oh the plus seven. Yeah, it was a thirteen. I rolled badly. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> thirteen will hit. Just a, just an unarmored boar. Okay, here. right. Nice, nice. Cool. So, okay. what kind of save does he make? Oh, uh, strength. Strength. Yeah, uh, strength or dexterity. And with advantage again. Oh, because it's a large. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, it's 18. <laughs> so the boar, you wrap the whip around the boar, and just as you're yanking, it kind of pulls its leg free and avoids being tripped there. Um, okay. So you can still that was an attack, so you yeah. still have a second attack. Yeah, can I can I do it? I'm gonna do it again. You're gonna attack the same thing? No, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Sure. Because I wanna pull him up. So you still have to roll to hit. Try again. Oh my god, that was bad again. That was a that was eleven. That will miss. Oh. Yeah. So you go out this time, and the boar just I picks up its feet. I wouldn't have pulled out the like, longbow. Maybe. I still have movement. You use, you nice. used about yeah. You use twenty feet of movement. We'll say. Yep. What happens if I try to climb on top of it? Uh, there isn't Whoa. enough. You would need to do a shove action, basically, oh, okay. to try and like take because there isn't enough space for both of you on the boar. You could do that if you had an attack left, but you don't okay. have an attack. So now I just have a bonus action. Left. You do have a bonus action, yeah. <laughs> you, could, you, could, you could try to blow him. What? what? <laughs> try to flurry yeah. blows. What, to the boar? Uh, whatever you want. Yeah. Like You can reach him too with your oh, flurry I can? blows. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay, well, then I guess I'll do that. Might as well. Um, okay, so flurry blows. So this would just be with your claw. Two unarmed strikes. Yeah, I'm just going to punch him. Um, two, so 17. 17 will hit. And then uh, 18. Great, those nice. will both hit. Nice. Nice. Big roll. D6, D6. 
That's not this one. <laughs> nope. 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 That's a four. Nope. Six is that. Six. <laughs> Six. You're good. It's all good. Four. Then do twice. Do them one at a time. Do them one at a time. Do them oh. on it. Oh. oh. I, well, I already. <laughs> do them one at a time. Yep. You okay. Can. No. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Five bludgeoning, so he goes up to thirteen, and then do the second one. So, yeah. Nice. There you go. Ten. Ten. Grace, up to twenty-three yeah. damage on yeah. him. With that first blow, you kind of reel back for the second strike, and you see him sort of trying to shield himself against the incoming sort of onslaught of strikes. And as the second attack is coming in, he turns towards you, and he opens his eyes. And there's a little bit of light, and you see like a oh, no. pool of energy in his chest. And Hell as no. you strike him, you hit with the full force, but after that, there's like a <laughs> ripple of force energy <laughs> that knocks you back, and you take half the damage you dealt. So you take five force oh damage. Gosh. Okay, question. Yes. You know how I can feel a well of magic inside of me? Yes. That doesn't apply. I can't sense a well of magic in anybody else. You can can't I? sense a well of magic, but that looked magic. <laughs> you don't know what the source of it is, but he used magic in some what? way. There. Oh. What? Boo. Okay. Is she not within five feet of it anymore? Uh, it didn't push her back. It was like a it was like a ripple force there. Of, okay. Of just That's fine with me. Uh, TC's uh, next. Okay. All right. Um, I believe. Well, I've got sight of it, and she's within five feet of the of the leader there. That still? is correct. Yep. Well, I'm taking a shot here. Uh, nice. You have disadvantage right now. <sighs> okay. Well, you're... I'll I'll cunning action disengage, horse disengage, disengage. Sure. <laughs> to move um, a little bit. Yeah, I might end up doing kind of a curl away to the northeast, but yeah, just five feet that way at first. Sure. To make the shot. Great. Uh, so here we go, making a shot on the leader there. Sixteen to hit. Sixteen will hit. Oh, thank God! All right, mm -hmm. sneak attack, baby. Oh hell yeah! Let's go. Holy shit! Um, <gasps> that's okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven plus four is fifteen piercing 15 damage. Fifteen uh -huh. piercing damage. Excellent. That takes us to thirty-eight. I just did. As the bolt <laughs> fires oh. off, it hits him, and then you see him. Oh! Oh, take no! half of that damage. You take seven you force that damage there. A round? That's not a round. That's oh, yeah. Uh, like, can you do that in back to back? No. Oh. Oh. Never mind. It was a reaction. You're right. Yes. Ooh. He yeah. cannot do Fuck that. Fuck you, leader. All right. So yeah, just 15 damage Great. on him. Great. 15 and on him. And I've only used five feet of movement. Huh? How's he looking? Be careful. Um, he's taken a couple good hits, but he looks tougher than your average Lovely. goblin, okay. definitely. Um, he doesn't look like he's wearing down yet. With my large size mount mm -hmm. and the small size baddies, can I like run through the space of one of the little guys on feet that might, yeah, maybe not do damage, but cause them to like, it would have no mechanical. Oh. What do you? What are you trying to do? I want to trample them or get them to r jump out of the no, way. I mean, they would just harmlessly kind of I jump see. out of the way. I see. All right, that's fine. <laughs> uh, all right, I want to. I want to take. Uh, I've got fifty-five moving on mm -hmm. that horse left. Yeah, I kind of want to. I can't go kind of right through the middle there towards him and past him, can I? Uh, you could. There might just be some attacks of opportunity from these little guys as you ride. But by we both them. took the disengage. Uh, yes. Action. Yeah, yeah. We both took disengage. Sure. Um, so what is 50 straight towards him? 455 straight I mean, 40 gets you right up to him. And can I go past him? Yeah, you could. All right, then yeah, I'll, I want to get on the other Another, side. Another, well, how much do you, that was 45, so how much, you have 15 left? Yeah. Yeah, so you'd be like just on the other side of him. Okay, yeah, I'll kind of surround him there. Great. Cool. Jeez, he maneuvers the horse kind of between the trees, <laughs> and then you pull up. <laughs> You get on the other side. Bring him down. <laughs> Morn is next. All right, morning, you're up. Um. Now you're the one in uh, the business. Yeah, now I'm in all of the shit. Um, Jesus. Um, mechanical question. Yes. Now that I've suppressed the wild magic, oh. but I'm still doing a rage, can yes. I stop the <gasps> and uh, let it come back? You need to, you'd have to use another rage. Oh. Uh, I don't know. You suppress the initial sort of burst of it. It, it. It's not like you're constantly suppressing. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> magic. Uh, nah. I, um, <laughs> do I got some little 
Where's a line? Do you have a five foot <gasps> line of little guys? Five foot. Where would you like? I mean, it's basically like. Um, it, five, it, five feet wide. Yep. Kind of it thing. could definitely hit like one, two, three, these four, or plus the boars. Yeah. Or you could shoot it in this direction and Let's hit go. one, two, three in this Wait. direction. Like this way. Maybe I do four and this just way. shoot it at these little guys. Oh, you could do that. I open these little freaks? <laughs> these little freaks? <laughs> Maybe Morna hates a that? little freak. Just roast a little freak. I really do hate them. Would you like to? Oh, <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. I just. I want to see how it works. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fighting off Lord. some of these, you sort of push Little one of the boars guys. back, push another one of the goblins back, and then we're going to have some more. Holy shit. Whoa. A line of lightning strikes across <laughs> the battlefield. So it's 8d6, <laughs> This right? is going to be, yes. And so everybody, has to make, uh, everybody has to make a dex save. Dex save. Do you need any more d6s? I do. Yeah, I have, yes. yeah, give me all your d6s. Okay. Remember you got three, Two. six. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nope. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, now, D, <laughs> hold up, before you roll, so you want, do you want this? The no. save is going to be, because it doesn't specify, it's going to be against your ability save, DC. Mm. So, um, so we've got oh, this one, is so two. Cool. This is going to be, I'm going to do the goblins and the boars separately, but it's going to hit four goblins oh. and two boars. Okay. Come on. Um, okay. Light them up. Okay. One of them rolled a natural 20, and the other three are all going to fail. So Sweet. the one on oh. the back, we'll say, got the natural 20. So this one's getting full, this one's getting full, this one's getting full, this one's getting half. Okay. And then two boar. Oh, Jesus. Um, both of these ones in the back are going to save. So this boar okay. saves, this guy saves, but all these four creatures all awesome. fail. Awesome. Cool. So go ahead and roll your damage for that. Okay. And the other ones yeah. just take half. They yeah. take half. Yes, they no. take half. Yep. So... Bottom up, bottom up. Oh, I see sixes. <laughs> okay, so I have. I see one. Twelve. Um, <laughs> sorry. No. Nope. Okay. Um, twelve. That's the twelve. Twelve. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Four. Oh yeah. Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Okay, here you go. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight, 28. total. Nice. Ooh. Oh, they are toast. <laughs> so the They're three rough. there that have just charged up oh, to you, they kind of have their weapons, <laughs> and they just get consumed by this crackling lightning. And you can see like pieces of their flesh getting like burnt off, eyebrows getting charred, hair getting burnt. All four of these, these three goblins and this boar are all dead. Whoa, what the heck? And the other ones take 14. The other ones take 14. And this one already had eight. That one's going to oh, die too. Oh my God. And then this one, what was it, 14? Yeah, this boar takes yeah. 14 there in the back. Wow. So Morna, who is just surrounded by a bunch of goblins, clears a path out in front of her. And then when you open your eyes again, there's still a little bit of like just crackling lightning kind of around your <laughs> She's eyes. She's not going to go. Matthew. Ah! <laughs> and run out and grab Barb. Okay, yep, you run, uh, that was up here. Yep, that guy, 20 yep. feet, okay, and then I'm gonna run to this other goblin and I'm gonna, what, I still have an extra attack. Uh, you don't, because that wasn't an attack, that was casting a spell. Cool. So you can't also attack. So I can't him. attack. No. You can, you can scream in his face. <laughs> I'm going to scream in his face. You do, and I mean, at After the I onset the of the lightning, you see some of the, just wide, oh. all the goblins seeing, reacting to the magic that they just witnessed. Mm -hmm. um, and Kate, give me a perception oh, check. Yes, I, mean. I want to know, I want to uh, know. You're too far. I, don't I, don't know. Know. I was running up to you behind. I was running up to you. Come out, come out. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm you're like way far. back. I was I'm running up horse. to you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Nat 20. No. Oh, oh no, this so isn't me. to notice more. Oh. Oh. This is yeah. Kate noticing Seven. that the uh, that the leader goblin who's sort of fighting you off, he sees TC run around, he watches that lightning bolt emanate from Morna, and as he does, he sort of holds his chest. As I see that, wait, is he, is he running away? No, he's oh. just sort of. Okay, I see him do that, and I'm gonna look at his eyes and yell, Chowinga! Chowinga, Chowinga! <laughs> and see if he knows what I'm talking about. Okay, he doesn't react yet, but he looks at you. Oh my god. Uh, okay, oh, that's gonna take us to the boar ride. Only Kate right now knows still about. Still screaming. I just want to have she has not did, 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 did you see that kind no, of No, I'm gonna to say her? only Kate, oh. Kate knows. 
All right, so the riders, I think we have two of them that? left. Yes, we do. So Only this you one know that it lightning? hurts to hit him <laughs> is going to charge at Morna. Do you know what I'm saying? Are you sure about that? <laughs> sure I mean, the ones on the yes. boars at least are using the boars to shield themselves. All right. Um, he reflected damage back at you. I think. And I'm you're the only person who knows that. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were the only one who saw him sort of reverberate that force damage back at you when you attacked him. Oh, Peter. but he he clutched it because he was reacting to Morna. To Morna, yes. yes. Those okay. were separate, yes, yeah. separate things. Um, okay, this is gonna be um, two different tusk attacks. Only one of them was a uh, charge because the other one was too close. Sure. So this is a regular tusk attack. Uh, dirty 20 to hit on that. Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight slashing damage, halved. Right. And then the other one, this is a charge deck. Wow, natural 19, uh, 23 to hit. Oh, yeah, baby. I think. Jesus. Uh, or 22 to hit. Yeah. Um, so this has the extra charge damage. Uh, 13 slashing damage, have down to six. You okay? So, <laughs> hitting you with their tusks. Surge, baby. Um, and then, is that the last one? Yeah, rider? I, I think it is. This uh, boar, who had, is now riderless, kind of. Come on, I didn't hit you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I should have. Charged hit. toward you. It doesn't know sign language. <laughs> please! Yeah, please. Uh, this is. Uh, this is gonna do the 13 miss. hits, so it's gonna miss. So miss. just as it's running by, you just wanna whoosh, matador dodge out of the way. Miss. Um, that one doesn't hit. No okay. CSL common sign. <laughs> that is the riders. <laughs> Doxley, you're up. Um, all right. Well, I got this thing on my ass now, you right? Do indeed. Okay. Um, it's within melee, so I guess I'll just take one of my javelins and just try to go right for a little eyeball or something. Sure. Ooh. Okay. Oh, baby. Right that's a 21 to hit. That will hit. All right. So that's still a six. Yeah. Plus two instead. Uh, you know what? Does that, it applies for when I'm not throwing? Yeah. Um, yeah, re-roll. you piercing damage. Okay. okay. Uh, shut up. Five <laughs> piercing damage. Five piercing damage. Uh, before you do anything else, give me an intimidation roll. Oh. That was me. Five. Oh. Nice. Uh, 16? 16, after taking damage from that, it, it was sort of attacking out of panic, but it feels the stab and then okay. it looks like it's gonna run. I mean, you can attack it again, but it looks like it's turning to sort of head towards the water there. Toward, oh, like going west? Yeah. He like, said west? <laughs> Great. Salute you, uh, I'll, let, I'll let him retreat, fuck it. Okay. Um, and then I'll use my full 30 to get closer to all this bullshit. Okay, 30. All right. How close am I to some of this shit? Uh, the closest goblins are like 40, 45, 40, yeah. Okay, um, I mean, I guess I'll just, I'll throw one with disadvantage. Fuck it, I'll okay. throw the one uh, east. Uh, this one oh, right yeah, here? Yeah, over Alien's Great, shoulder. yeah. Disadvantage attack. Disadvantage. That one is... What am I doing? Wow. What are you doing? Fuck! I shouldn't. Um, that's a eight to hit. <laughs> that will miss. Okay. Oh. <coughs> a little music change. Oh. Um, okay, that's my turn. Okie dokie. That takes us to the foot soldiers. Yeah. So uh, that one that witnessed and doesn't have a uh, boar has no interest in sticking around with Morna. Uh, would you like an attack of opportunity? Yeah, fuck yeah. Way? Fuck that little guy. Give me an attack of opportunity. Okay, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> Um, there that will is, be no survivors. So that's 18? 18 will hit, yep. It's under the giant from Princess Bride. Um, that is, uh, um, seven, seven piercing great. damage? Seven, great, seven piercing damage. <laughs> and it's gonna run. And it is going to <laughs> run kind of through the trees here so it can attack uh, Kate. The fuck? This one <laughs> as well. Boom. Gonna kind of swarm here. Oh, uh, Did you use? Uh, a monk weapon last? She did. She yep. punched him. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well. So her AC is very high. I mean, they're basically kind of trying to swarm to protect the leader here. Uh, this one can't really get. He's going to dash, so he can't attack this turn. But that's three attacks on Morna, or three multi attacks on Morna. Or on uh, okay. Kate, sorry. And then this last one he sort of looks around. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Use your words. Don't just go lose. They do speak common. <laughs> yeah. I tell them to fucking suck a dick. Okay, so one attack on Alien, three attacks on Kate. We'll do Alien first. Uh, 12 to hit. Aha. Uh, Kate. 
Aha! Uh, that's not an answer. 10 to hit. No. Uh, uh, 12 to hit. No. And 17 to hit. No. So nice. <laughs> dodging all around. Freak and then they do have multi attack, so another round for both of them. So we'll go to Ilian again. Uh, natural one. That doesn't hit at all. That guy's terrified of Ilian. <laughs> he can't hit. And then three more attacks on Kate. Uh, ooh, they suck. Uh, uh, 10 to hit. <laughs> Uh, 13 to hit, wow. and a natural one. Wow. one of them, oh. All of these goblins. <laughs> There's something kind of balletic about it oh, as yeah. you <laughs> each of the blades. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and I think that was all of that soldiers. If I'm not all right, then the alien is that. next. All right, alien, you're up. How far am I from the boar uh, bond morks? Uh, that is 35 feet to get within melee range of it. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna add this goblin. Don't you fucking hit me! And I'm gonna <laughs> run straight past and dash to get next to him. I love that. You start to run and you can feel him kind of. <laughs> Give me an intimidation. Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. Um, uh, intimidation is five. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, oh my god. god. The thing? No, it's only long rest. So oh it's long rest. my god. Uh, you take. Five slashing damn, five piercing damn. Reduced to two. Reduced to two. Oh my yeah. god. Wow, you only motivated <laughs> him more. And that was a double yes. die? Uh, no. Oh, yes, oh, Critterino. Oh, that was, a, that was another one. So there are double seven piercing, half down to, to three. Four. <laughs> to four, because it's only reduced to three yeah. flat. Oh, I thought it was half, sorry. Yep, yep, three, three down. That's only um, one more than we got <laughs> Yeah. I'll go. Okay, and you're using full movement. Yeah, full movement to get uh, and dash to get within five feet of Morna. So okay, go within five feet of Morna, you can indeed. She's still screaming. <laughs> <laughs> she does not stop screaming. I'm running and I'm Snot. getting ready. I'm like, like we're God. gonna talk, Morna. <laughs> Does that one? Does yours have multiple uses too? I can't remember. Your nose. Is uh, good. yeah. I can, I can blast him again. No, I was just wondering if if the well of, if you felt the well of magic disappearing. Oh no no okay, no! Great. I have three, still three uses babies. of it. Excellent. You still have three. two left. No, she's two, two more. Oh, two yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, I feel, are you done? I I'm done. Leader. All right, the goblin leader. Oh boy. Okay, sort of seeing a another source of magic within. He is. Oops, that's not the right guy. He's going to take his boar. And he's going to start heading in this direction. You can take a tax of opportunity if you would like. No, thank you. Kate. Oh. It is a reaction. I need so my you reaction. use up a reaction. Um, I, then I'll save it. Okay, great. You're gonna save it. Okay, see, right, he's gonna take 40 feet. And he's gonna take another reactions. 40 feet. Where are you going? So is charging he away. away. And then he kind of pulls uh, up a little bit. He does have uh -oh. a ranged uh -oh. weapon. Fireball. Hit him. <laughs> he pulls up and he's gonna take. Uh, yeah. no, I, I want to see the magic. <laughs> Want to see her get hit there? I'm here to the see the bolt. Yeah, you want Dick. me to get hit with the lightning bolt? I don't know anything about any of that. Which I oh can't. my god! <laughs> really? can't do really? Okay, great. So he's just gonna take two Good regular magic. shots here with his longbow uh, at um, the closest target, which is Morna. I guess. Yeah, hit me, baby. Please don't. Don't hit her. Uh, twenty-one to oh. hit. Oh, okay. And then <laughs> ten to hit. Just no. One second. Okay. <laughs> 11 piercing damage. Are you still on your feet? Half down to five. Still. Uh, and. She stopped screaming. Oh, okay. Not good. Uh, you still screaming? No. <laughs> okay, that's his turn. All right, Kate, top of the lineup. Okay, you're up, Kate. Ooh, all these little freaks There's around. There's four guys around you. And if I if I try to run away at this point, they all get attacked. They would each get an attack of opportunity. You yep. can can you do you have a can way I, to disengage? Like um, you can, can spend key, key point disengage, point to disengage. Yep. for free. Yeah. For how and nice. the, how far away is the that guy from me now? That's the leader from me. Uh, he went eighty feet because he because he used uh, the war movement. Poo poo, poopy poo poo. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> poo pee pee. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Dang it. Flab nabbits. Trying to get close to him again. <laughs> it's helpful for me. Um, okay. Let me... Isn't that the point? It isn't to help DC. <laughs> you know, I don't care about these little dudes. I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step of the wind. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. Disengage. To disengage. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So you do, and are you heading in his direction? Yeah, I'm gonna head towards. So there we go. Five. Another five to get her. So that's ten, and then thirty-five more. Jesus. So that's your 
just your movement, and then are you dashing, or are you, what would you like to do? I, or you well, could have ended up next to this one if you wanted to attack that one. That's up yeah, I, I mean, in order to dash, I would have to do another. No, you no, use the key point to disengage. disengage so I can so this was just your regular movement, so right. you, you have, still have a full action currently. Oh, and I can dash as my action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me do that. Up to the other guy? Yeah. All right. Thank now you. Now you can't attack because you have used your action. Right. Oh, and now I'm right next to him. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's, good. that's the only thing I can do. Okay, well, the boar that is going to take us to TC. All right, do I, am I, uh, I'm far enough away I don't need to disengage to get by these guys. You're not within melee range okay. of any of these. Then I'll kind of skirt around them towards the leader again. Mm-hmm. Maybe 10, yeah, 15 is right there. Line up a shot. Are you gonna stay there oh, for now? God, for now, I'm okay. within 120 yeah. there. Uh, line up another shot. Great. Um, How many more key points yet? Oh, 26 to hit. That will hit. Let's Sneak call. attack, baby. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Me as oh, well. Yeah. Oh. 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 <gasps> 20 piercing damage. Oh, blow him up, blow him up, please. 58. That oh. bolt hits him and Kate, who's close enough, it hits him kind of right underneath the armor. Yeah. And he's, you can see blood's kind of pouring out his side there. He's holding it. (laughs) But he kind of slouches over and then, (laughs) and force damage goes back at TC. You take half of that damage and force damage there. So that's five. Ten. Ten. Oh, 10. Can I also use my- How much damage was it? I did 20. 20. So 10 comes back. 10 back. Can I use my reaction to- to um, uncanny, uncanny dodge. Yes, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it? It's any kind of damage. Um, it's. Uh, yeah, you can use a reaction on your turn. As long as I can see them. Uh, when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack. Uh, it is not an attack. Damn. That's Damn. A, no. <clears throat> That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's it's All like right. a, it's just a sort of concussive force that blashes Great. out at you. It is not oh, an attack. Since he's so far it's similar away. to like a hellish rebuke. That's not an gotcha. attack. All right, it's so I take ten. Since he's so far away, what does that look like on the battlefield for us, like in between? Like when the bolt, it's almost like a fast like like ping pong or tennis match. TC's bolt goes and then immediately like a purple bolt goes oh, flying okay, so we back at TC. That. Oh yeah, it goes. It's like a purple flash across the battlefield. That's all right. Ooh, little cuts on the big boy. Little cuts. <laughs> Um, he does look pretty, pretty roughed up. All right, just one more big cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, just one more big cut. Yeah. He's he's um, he's pretty b- banged up at this point. So I haven't used any uh, bonus actions here. Um, and you have, you only use like ten feet of movement. Yeah. So I'll just kind of try to keep keep pace with him and, and go after him for now. Um, I'll have the horse huge dodge. This would be all sixty feet. Great. And you I'll have the horse huge dodge, dodge and then that. I will use. Can I, use? I can't use dodge as a cunning. TC on horseback. It's pretty it's sweet. It's really cool. Yeah, like, oh, awesome. Cowboy baby. You and me, Daisy. Cowboy baby. Um, and Morna's like, there's my horse. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? How far is he from me right now? Uh, another 20 feet. Fast hands, take out an alchemist's fire. Okay. And I'm gonna <laughs> and throw it at his dome. You may indeed. All right. Um, wow. Okay. Careful, Kate. <laughs> eh, it's it doesn't really have an AOE, really. Um, so how the hell does that work? Is, is um, it a, as an action? It's a, a ranged okay. attack roll. So you're gonna do. Uh, it's an improvised weapon. So I don't. Add so you're not gonna my... add your proficiency. Okay. But so you are gonna add your dex modifier. Okay. So, so I get to add four. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Um, <laughs> 15? 15 will miss. No! <laughs> no! Are you kidding me? No. He hurls it. No. And he just pulls up the boar enough that it lands kind of right next to Kate. <laughs> ah! Sort of a burst of alchemist's fire oh. right next to her. Oh, <laughs> Does it scare the boar or anything? Uh, the boar, as long as he's riding it, is pretty oh. obeying his commands pretty readily. Nice. That's so <laughs> close. Oh. All right, all right, all right. It was almost right. really cool, though. It was almost really cool, <laughs> buddy. Almost really cool. Gotta hit it myself. All right. <laughs> Morna's next. All right, Morna. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> hit the. <laughs> Are either of these injured? That guy has ten damage on him. This guy has. Uh, one of these does not have ten. Oh yeah, zero damage. There we go. Good idea. Okay, I'm gonna hit the guy 
I'm gonna reach up and hit the guy uh, who's already been damaged Great. with Bill. That's this guy. Yes, yeah. he has ten damage on him. Great. Nice. <clears throat> that is, yeah, eighteen plus six. That will um, Big balls. <laughs> okay, so now that okay, shoot, that sucks. Um, uh, five plus two is seven. Seven, great. Using damage, I'm gonna take Barb for my offhand attack and great. hit him also. Great. Do you want to do your offhand first? Yeah. You don't. You can do them in any order because you yeah. have another attack as well. I'm gonna do my offhand great. hand first. Go ahead. Um, oh, that's probably not gonna hit. Um, that is eight. That will miss. Okay. Then I'm gonna whack him with. Bill. And that would be extra, the regular extra um, attack. That is a uh, 17. That will hit. Yes. Okay, nice. Oh, uh, damn. Uh, that is a uh, seven again. Seven, just enough there. Kyle! <laughs> and now that board. Sort of looking around for any kind of orders. I'm gonna bonus action healing surge. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, go ahead. And, um... This poor L, so he, he had gotten knocked down, I'm gonna say, that in previous rounds. He, he, got, he, got, he got hit by light. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he was like, hell. <laughs> okay, um, that's not too bad. Uh, um, you can't healing surge. <gasps> you used a bonus action to offhand attack. Oh. And healing surge is a bonus action. So true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just chilling then. Brutal. I'm just chilling, um, uh, and I'm gonna, um... Yep, scream. I'm gonna. <laughs> Continue uh, Is it a bonus action? It is what a bonus action? Healing surge? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It is. yes, sorry. I know, I know it is. You're totally right. <laughs> um, I'm going to, as a bonus action, scream <laughs> more. As a free, uh, as a free uh, action. Uh, scream as a free action. <laughs> as a free action, I'm gonna keep screaming and uh, just stay where I am. Okay. I'm gonna Eternal scream. scream. I'm gonna scream right at the boar, though. Just okay. So oh, I can give me an intimidation. Smart, smart, the, smart. The scary, the other boar. Yes, the non rider. Yeah. That is, oh, ooh, 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 intimidation. That is a 19. 19, all right, they're up next, and this one, like this other, is gonna go into the trees there. Nice. This one with his rider, still enough sort of, uh, this guy, having seen what's happening on the battlefield, he's gonna try and do his master proud. He's gonna turn around, and I, you guys can both make opportunity attacks if yeah. you would like yes, to. Yes, yes, yes. Do his master proud. He's gonna go for me or the cave. Mm. Okay, that's gonna be 18 to hit. That will hit. Oh, that is uh, 21 to hit. That will hit as well. Uh, 12 <laughs> slashing. 12 slashing. Damn. Oh, God. Um, damn, I'm not rolling good on damage. That's seven piercing. Seven, okay. Not quite oh, enough to oh, get him on his way out. Twelve. That was pretty Ooh. close. Um, and he is going to, oh boy, charge TC here with the. Oh, 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 I didn't Daisy's, have a horse. Daisy's dodging though, yeah. Uh, yes, Daisy Daisy's is dodging. Daisy's dodging. Yes. Okay. Dodging. Um, but he's not gonna go for Daisy. Oh. He's gonna have the boar rear back. Oh, well, then that's okay. I care about my seventy-five gold. So that was. What I was <laughs> uh, TC, so this is a tusk charge attack on TC. Uh, 17? Yeah, that'll hit. That oh. okay, this is an attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Jesus! It's with the charge attack. 16 oh, yes. slashing damage. I will use my reaction. <laughs> this so is why I didn't take done. an opportunity. So even though the tusks round. are coming in, you get out of the way enough that they just kind of <sighs> graze you on the way by. So 16 down to 8? Yeah, down to 8. Ooh. Yep. Damn, Ooh, baby. And uh, I think that's the only boar rider left. This boar also got scared. <laughs> so they're out of here. Um, okay, so that takes us to Doxley. All right, how, uh, move me 30 feet toward the leader. Okay, there's that one goblin that. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, just Use your manners. How Snip far on. am I from the leader? Uh, you are 45 feet. 45 foot throw. Okay, so 45 feet, even if I dash, it's not close enough to get a melee. Um, I'm gonna do a disadvantage javelin shot at the mm. leader. Nice. Okay. You can do it. it. Um, mm -hmm. How many javelins do I got? Yeah, oh, I'm good. Okay, disadvantage. Oh man, that's a 10 to hit. I'm gonna hit. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Oh. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, another 
javelin goes flying through the air over Kate's head, over the yeah. goblin. <laughs> you just lose two javelins? Oh, she'll get them back. Uh, yeah, I know, they're but... just here in the woods. That's, that's my whole fucking turn. Okay. God damn it. That'll take us to the footmen, of which there are very few remaining. Uh, this guy is going to try and just poke Doxley in the back. <laughs> Multi attack. Uh, 14 to no. hit. 17 to hit. No. Both of those are going to miss. Nice. And he's going to run after doing that. Uh, can I? You can make an attack of opportunity if you like. Yeah, fuck it. I'm <laughs> pissed. All right. Does he have any damage on him? He's got a little bit. No. No, baby. <laughs> That's going to miss. Okay. Okay, we've got four over here who are all going <laughs> to. I can't. I can't. It hurts. Swarm over here. Yes. <sighs> Absolute little fuckers. Uh, where's that? Oh, he's going to react. There we go. That's tough. Me too, yeah. Uh, this is going to be a whole bunch on Ilian. No. Oh, okay. That's well, fine. They're not going to hit me? They, the Ilian was closer, and they're all just trying to sort of maximize their attacks here. Uh, you attack? <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to punch me. Did you not make an attack? No, I didn't make an attack. Yeah, you made an attack. Oh. Don't punch me. Don't <laughs> okay, hold on. So eager to punch me. You sure? You don't want me to... Okay. There we go. Four attacks and then a multiple attack. Seven to hit. Nope. Twelve to hit. Uh-uh. So that's a one. And then uh, 18 to hit. Yeah. Okay, that's one. Yeah. And then another round. Okay. Um, natural 20. Ugh. Ten to hit. Wow. 14 to hit. No. And another 14 to hit. No. So one regular attack and one crit attack. Come to Papa. Um, that is five slashing on the regular attack. Okay. Reduced. And, ooh, and, and reduced then uh, uh, piercing. Yeah. And then um, eleven uh, piercing. Uh, Twelve piercing on the, uh, on, the on the crit. That's juicy. Okay. <laughs> it's a flurry of swords poking you in the back from between the trees there. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's the footman. That's everybody. That's gonna take us to Ilian. Oh, you pieces. Okay. <laughs> I am Towering going, over these little yeah. goblins. I am going to, from left to right, so here I go. I'm going to go for a hit. Um, Your left? Yeah, my left. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, Okay, first hit. 14? That will hit. Oh, okay, great. Hey. Um, Only the leader has Yeah, he has a higher raise. Okay. Uh, that's going to be, oh, 15 damage. 15 damage? Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> Bye. Um, you know what? Can I... Can you? Wait, who's who's still nearby? It's just you and I. Just you. And you and Morna are kind of back to back. Bye, bye. Uh, Morna. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna do that. Stop screaming. I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I've got a good shot. I'm just gonna do another, uh, just another attack. Okay. Uh, 25. 25 will hit. And then that's gonna be 10 damage. 10 damage, not quite enough to kill him there. Um. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's it for Tyler. Okay. Yep. All right. Leader. The leader is going to stare down Kate here, and he's going to use a little something else. Oh, oh my disposal. God. He's going to take out his sword, and as he does, he runs his hand along the blade, and it glows with a kind no. of force magic. And he's gonna try and stab you. Wow. Here. You still have the update so C, cool right? Cool as a Jedi. Yeah. Uh, that was a natural one and then a 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the two attacks. Um, so Jedi an God. extra 1d8 force damage on the attack. Or the. Uh, 12 da- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Five force damage and seven. Uh, I'm out. I'm, I'm out. Oh. Okay. Right. As he draws the blade back, you, you see Kate crumple to the ground. Okay. Fucking health um, potion. No. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, you I, I need I it, it for my leg. <laughs> and after drawing the blade back, <laughs> he's gonna start moving away with the boar. <sighs> Can't dash. Action. No, so the boar can dash. The oh, the boar can dash? Yes. Yeah, he's mounted. Never mind. Hashtag annoying. Uh, <laughs> as I see him run away, uh, 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 see to Kate, I'll take him down, and I'm gonna, uh, well, I'll, you'll see on my turn. Uh, <laughs> uh, that takes up. us to Kate, which means you get to make oh, a death saving throw. Wait, so what is that? <laughs> oh, just a d20 go. roll, mm-hmm. and if you get uh, 10 or better, it's a success. And below that is a fail. And there's no adding anything, 
Nope. No, okay, no. You have three. Save. You nope. have a death. Oh, yeah. You have a lot of chances. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Dead. You have three chances. You have three chances. <laughs> Unless you fail. Unless. Fail. Okay. You have one, so you can mark it on your sheet. You have one failed death saving throw. Where's my pencil though? A little bit of the life <laughs> leaving <laughs> Kate there. And that stays till oh, long rest, right? That's what? It. That stays till yeah. long rest. Yes. Or, or someone uses a uh, healer. Healer's uh, kit to oh, patch okay. up your wounds. I have uh, Wait, no, 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 you don't do it again. You're good. You do it now. once no, per wait. round. Oh. You're good. You're good. <laughs> okay. You don't go through. You, you thought you were just deciding <laughs> so right now if you live okay. or die. No, You're okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, we, we got you. Save you. TC is up now. Okay. Um, can I? Can I use my fast hands to kind of <laughs> toss away a health potion to someone as like a? Who are you tossing it to? I don't know, who's the closest person to me? Uh, Doxley is right behind you, or uh, Morna's over there. Yeah, yeah Doxley's closer, but Morna's a little further up. So like if I... Yeah, I would let you do that as a fast hand, someone would have to make a check to catch it. They would have to do a... What if I, what if I use like some of the movement of the horse to get to her and then move? Would I still have to use it? Uh, you could use fast hands to hand it off, yes. Okay. But it, no check required if you got close enough to hand it off. Okay, okay. So I will, um, about how far away is, is oh no, I, I can shoot him. Okay. Um, the horse is gonna, uh, 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 oh my God, I'm sorry. The horse is going to dodge. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back enough to fast hands, hands off a, um, okay. hand off Disengage a healing Disengage or dodge? <sighs> disengage, disengage. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought I wanted to do so that. Disengage. Yeah, disengage. Get close enough. That's get 15 close enough. feet to get to Doxley. Hand off. Hands off a healing potion. A healing potion. Got and it. And then whip it up to, to move. So another uh, um, 45 feet. However much towards. I can towards him. 45. And he's still within 100, 120 from me, right? Uh, oh. I don't think you can see him <laughs> at all. What if I went more towards that boar and like cut yeah. the, you know yeah. what I mean? Like by the boars so, there. Oops, I'll move you in a second. So you were here yeah, and then like 45 like this way. Oh. Uh, give me a perception check. I mean, it, how about this? If I don't take the, the disengage, can I have the horse take a, can I take it back and kind of have the horse make a dash instead? Yes, and then he would get to make an attack of opportunity. I'll do, then I'll do that. I'll, okay. I'll have the horse dash. If yeah. he hits the horse on the attack of opportunity, you, the horse needs to make a saving throw to see if it gets knocked, or to, you need to make a saving throw to see if you get knocked off. Oh. And are my saving, am I fucked up with my leg? Am I gonna be at like disadvantage? On this my... is a balance-based throw. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I want that boy. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. So, okay. da I'm gonna have the horse dash. So we're gonna dash. So as soon as you leave the ring, the horse's AC. Um, the horse's. I can tell you, it's a riding horse. Horse's AC is ten. Oh my god. Oh my. Um, so the goblin's gonna take a swipe of the horse yeah. that goes by. Uh, Thirteen to hit. It's gonna do a little bit of damage. Rest in peace, baby. Uh, it's just gonna do four sla uh, piercing damage. Four piercing horse damage. Horse, horse. horse has 13 hit yeah, points, by the way. Uh, sorry, just a second. So four out of 13 mm -hmm. on the horse. <laughs> and then I need you to give me a dex saving throw with this event. Oh! Oh, but this advantage. Oh, no! What? Yeah. Well, one of them's a 20. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. It your horse kind of rears back and you you hang on for Come dear on, Daisy. life. <laughs> and for a moment you kind of slide off the saddle and then you grab the nice. horn. Ooh. Pull yourself back up onto the wall. Oh, yeah. So you hand off the potion. Yeah. Now you have <laughs> that horse rider. That yes. clutch. Uh, yeah. 45 takes you up Ooh. here. Yeah. And now you still have the deck. Have another 60. So, yeah, so if you wanna. Like here's thirty, and now you can see him over the top. Oh, nice. oh bingo ball! Oh, bingo ball. Let's go. All right, all right. All right. He's that. looking oh. rough. Yes. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, no. That's the thing is, I only get a d6 if I don't use sharpshooter. That's I true. understand. Go for it. I think you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be great. I think you got this. You think I got this? As in the d6 got this, or the roll got the this? roll got. This. <laughs> all right. But I didn't say that. What are you doing? 
I'm gonna try to sharpshooter him. So. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so I add instead of adding seven, I'm adding two to my roll. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven to hit. <laughs> oh, that works. Gets caught in some of the foliage there. <laughs> Falls harmlessly to the ground. Um, I'm gonna. I, hey, if this is horses as fast as that boar, I'm going after him. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Had a, you still had more movement. Oh, you yeah. Want to chase him. I'm chasing him. Right. You kind of difficult to. Yeah. You get kind of a, up there. to the edge of that uh, shrubbery there. Yep. Okay. Lord is next. Have I used a bonus oh. action this. Time. Yes, I used it for the cunning action to hand off the. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you, you didn't use a reaction at all. Either. Wait, I have an inspiration. <laughs> no, I'll wait. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna try one more turn. <laughs> all right, Morna. Morna. Um, I got these little fuckers next to Ilian. Got three next to Ilian. One on boar back here. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with the guys on my buddy. Okay. <gasps> I'm a buddy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Okay. Didn't seem that way during the short rest, did it? <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> but it's good to hear. Oh damn. <laughs> Um, a 10. That's gonna miss. Okay. Um, that's, uh, 17. That will hit. Okay, this is Bill, okay. my second attack. Second regular attack. Second regular attack. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. <laughs> that is, um, 9 plus 2 is 11, 11. piercing oh damage. Okay. Um, and, uh, then I'll do my offhand with Barb. Great. That is oof, eleven. It's gonna miss. Yes. Not quite. God, ah, we're losing. Um, you see, also as soon as the leader is no longer like it, he's so out of sight, you can see the goblins kind of <laughs> like looking around, trying to see whether they should stay. They're kind of waiting to see if the leader returns. She's gonna um, yell again uh, <laughs> and uh, try to intimidate them and go, "Drop your weapons!" Okay. Uh, the one boar rider, I think, is next. Yeah, can I, can Doxley be like shouting at him to try to get his attention? Like, I'm Mung Bean! I don't fucking know. Something like that? Sure. Because seeing you like Kate vulnerable. Something like that? <laughs> or that exactly? Yeah, sure, I'll say, hey, yeah. Mung Bean! Come and get me! Give me a, uh, give me a, uh, intimidation check. Okay. Ooh, baby. Ooh, I would love to play this game <laughs> at some point. Uh, three. Just as you shout, the boar <laughs> just makes a squeal and he doesn't even hear you out the side of Shut up! <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, okay. That was this his turn. Okay, he's just gonna charge. Oh, okay. Thank Christ. Yeah. He doesn't Uh, okay. <laughs> Who does it? Jesus Christ. Uh, well, it's 17 uh, it's to hit, Ilion? It's Kate's on my own. 17 to yes, hit? Yes, that does hit. Okay, this is a charge attack Jeez. on the board. Jesus oh, what a beat. <laughs> that's kind of scary. Oh, yeah, that's not good. 11. 14 slashing damage. <laughs> but Down reduced. To 11. Oh, my God. Oh, right. Is it 12? I am at 13, ah. so I would have been down. Uh, okay, that's the one, uh, that's the one boar rider, Doxley, you're yeah, up. Doxley, all right, I'm fucking running to Kate. Do oh I have enough movement? Nope. Oh my god. God damn it. Okay, um, oh, that's no, her. fucking action surge. Action nice. surge, dash, <laughs> Big fucking action get in there. Yeah. Taking it out, pouring it down her face. You may roll for that, because applied is not, uh, you know, pull them out. So 2d4 two two. plus 2. Kate's back. Six. You have six HP. Six HP. HP. Ah. <gasps> Feel your life pour back Magic. into you. Uh, you have a little bit of movement left. Do you want to use that? Um. Jesus. Yeah, I guess. How much movement did I have left? Like uh, that was 20? like. You only used five of your. Oh, okay. So I have twenty-five. Action. Yeah, you have twenty-five feet. Um, I'm gonna follow TC in case he needs help. Okay. So I'll try to trail a horse. Yeah. I mean, you can see yeah, that, that there is possible. I'll go toward Ilian. Okay. I'm gonna try. All right, 25 feet toward Ilian. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, okay. that's my turn. All right. I'm gonna try. Okay, that takes uh, us soldiers. to the foot soldiers. So it's gonna be uh, a bunch of attacks on Ilian here. Oh okay. Um, as they're attacking, they, no. they are gonna make an attack here. But I did hit one of those guys before. Wouldn't one uh, of them you hit did. Me? Um, they're a little scattered in their tactics at the moment. Um, <laughs> 
But after the first round of attacks, and let's get there actually. So okay. three um, attacks. Uh, these are great. Uh, Twelve to hit. No. Four to hit. No. And then uh, sixteen. To no, hit? no, no. Oh. no. Okay. I found yeah. So those are gonna miss. Before they do their second wave of attacks, I need the three people here: Ilian, uh, Morna, and Doxley, to give me a group um, intimidation check. Okay. Because you can see they're nervous about not having their leader still here. Not great for me. Not great either. Oh my god. Eleven. Seven. Five. They will oh, make their other round of attacks no. here. Not oh, feeling, uh, not. What are y'all doing? That's enough. Uh, 10 to hit. No. 15 to hit. No. This one will. 21 to hit. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Uh, okay. Six piercing damage. <laughs> I'm gone. Holy down. shit, no! It's fine. Does anybody else have a healing potion? Yes. Oh my god. Uh, okay, that is the foot soldiers. Okay. They actually are, after attacking those three, leader no longer here. They're out of here. I'm gonna uh, whack. You can make an attack of opportunity. Whack. Um, that is, uh, um, 18. That will hit. Actually, can't not kill this guy. Okay, wow, and I, now I fucking rolled good. <laughs> okay, nine plus two is 11. So here. just oh as he turns God. his back, no mercy, <laughs> war pick into the back. <laughs> he goes down. Nice. Um, and the other two are not uh, within Morna's range. So, or she already took one anyway, so. Yes. 30 feet. Ilian's <laughs> 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 out. Okay, uh, Ilian, I need you to make a death <laughs> save. Drum. Yes, sir. That's a big success. Okay, hey. one success. Right success. <laughs> the a goblin leader, little bitch, feeling that uh, he he can tell that the horse is faster than the boar. Oh, oh boy. boy. And he's gonna turn around <laughs> here. Ah, um, and he's gonna make two uh, longbow attacks. Um, yeah. How much HP you have left? I'm okay. I got a, I got a decent big, amount. Big. Okay. Uh, one of those is like a eight to hit, yes. and the other one nineteen to hit. That'll hit. I have like twenty. Okay. And I can have, and that is ten piercing damage. <laughs> have <laughs> can you dodge? Because yeah, that was it's been around since I've used it. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so ten down to five. Uh, yep, ten down to five, and he is going to just not sort of fully flee because he. Thinks he's not gonna make it all the way out of here. Just gonna kind of back up in trees so that he stay. He knows you are fast enough to catch him, but he's clearly trying to keep his distance from the rest of the group. Yeah. Uh, Kate. It's gonna take us to Kate, who has woken up here on uh, the battlefield. Okay, so can I use my healing surge now? You can. Yeah. Okay. Might as well do that, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So you can spend up to half your hit dice with the healing surge, and you can do them one at a time. Well, I only have one. I mean, I only have two available. Okay. Plus your con. Plus your con. Okay. And you can use another one if you wish. Up to oh, baby. But I only had two available in the first place. Uh, use it's them. half. You can use up to half of your total. Total. Yep. Oh, okay. So you yeah. can use. Might as well. Oh. Nice. Oh. Okay. Okay. Cool. We're in the game. All right. Kate springs back into action. It does take half your movement to get because you're prone. So you have 22 and a half feet of movement. Plus um, all your usual. Okay, I'll go head towards Doxley. That gets you kind of right up behind Doxley. Thanks! Yeah, no problem. Uh, you used a bonus action on the healing surge, um, so you still have a regular action of any kind. Um, that's, that's just a regular guy up there. Yeah, that's not the leader. <laughs> that's just a boar rider, like a regular. I'm gonna take out my thumper. Mine, not my thumper. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a thumper. Like what clown style? Yeah. Too, like a giant <laughs> pallet out of her? I'm gonna take out my <laughs> light hammer. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm and gonna throw it? chuck it. You must nice. die. You can. <laughs> like your regular ass hammer. I had just happened bought to. Bought a light hammer from Prince. the only Prince thing off. I can throw. I don't have Hell any yeah. range weapon. Uh, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Throw it. I love it. Um, okay. D does it have the plus tape for the hammer on there? I think yeah. So. Great. Yeah. Go ahead and okay, make okay. the attack. Well, okay. First, I'm gonna make the attack. <laughs> that is gonna be a nine. That's oh. going to miss. <laughs> 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 I see a hammer land at my feet. <laughs> All right, GC, you're up. All right. Oh, no. Here's what I would like to do. Mm -hmm. May I describe it to you? Yes. 
He is within, how, f- how far is he from my right now? 50 feet. 50 feet, and he is traveling in the other direction. Yeah, he's kind of backing and f- backing up and firing as he's, as he's doing so. Can I instruct the horse? This, this, is, this is what I'm imagining. <laughs> Whip up the horse to go, but before I get through this brush here, I'm gonna dismount and slide down and whatever, if it you know it hurts or I fall, whatever. Hit the ground, have the horse continue to ride past him, take the hide action in the bushes there to try to you know get the horse to go past him so that mm-hmm. all of a sudden I'm gone. I'm, I'm using the hide action to hide in the bushes there. I will say yes. You may, uh, you need to make a saving throw and it's a balance based saving throw to not okay. fall prone when you jump off the horse, basically. Fine. Will that affect my uh, uh, hide action if I will um, fail it? If you're still in the bushes, not necessarily. Okay. And if I do fall prone, does that have any bearing on my shot? No. You can range attacks. You do not. Uh... Here we go. This is kind of right. cool. Yeah. So I like this. The idea is like. So you kind of. Ha! And then, and as then, you do, you kind of let the horse go forward and jump, jump. off the back. Give me a dexterity I saving throw so with this advantage. Here's the dexterity saving throw. Uh, oh man, another twenty, and then the actual roll is a eleven. Okay, you're gonna fall prone there. That's fine. Uh, so you're in the bushes, kind of. Yep. The horse is charging <laughs> forward. Past him because I mean it's got sixty feet. So sure, yeah. I mean once it's not diversion. under your control, it's gonna kind yeah. of okay. act on its own. But yeah. And I want to <laughs> a diversion, and I want to try to you know just crawl up enough to get sight on. Sure, him. you're kind of between the bushes here. Bonus action high. So as the horse is charging, you can see him like all right. All right he pulls the boar out of the way. <laughs> horse goes charging by. And here we go. Give me the hide. Uh oh yeah. Okay, so the hide is. Oh. Uh, 16 on the perception. No, no, Anthony, no. <laughs> Plus 10, 14. He still is yeah. able to see you. So, I do have inspiration. You do? Could you or you can shoot charge normally charge. without, uh, without. Like, you, you can still shoot. fire, you just wouldn't have advantage on the shot. Using the inspiration. Okay. To hide. 27. You Whoa. do find yourself hitting. The horse ruse works okay. with a twist of fate in your favor. And. All right, so now it's a, it's a, I don't have to use the uh, piercer to get the extra damage. I'm getting a sneak attack sure. right now, right? What piercer? As in, it, no, as in, sure. because I'm hidden, I have advantage have and it's sneak attack. Yes. I don't, like, don't need I could add 10 damage if I tried, but I I just want to do a straight advantage to 10. Sure. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, please All right, me here end we it. go. Holy no. fucking. Sage. Yeah. Get that is a. I, I can't. I'm so mad I can't count. <laughs> 13 to hit with advantage. It's gonna miss. Oh my, oh my god, and now we can Crawling know through the bushes. Unable to line the shot up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this I, is I, so bad. Anything else while you... Uh... No, nothing else! <laughs> Morna, you're up. <laughs> okay, oh I'm God. gonna... Um, a one and a six. Uh, this guy's right on me. Can I give Ilian a healing potion? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ilian's down. <laughs> <laughs> you can. No, Amazing. no, because the guy could... No, I'm gonna attack this guy. Okay. I'm gonna attack the guy. I'm gonna, like, stand over Ilian and attack okay. the guy. You may. Has some damage, yeah. He has okay, damage that is uh, 18. That will hit. Bill. This is a really low roll. I think he's gone. Oops, that's the door. Literally rolled okay. 20s on each disadvantage. That's um, 9 plus 2, 11 one. piercing damage. Yep, as he he tries to pull the boar out of the way, but it kind of coincides with the momentum of the of Bill, and oh, he gets knocked clean off the back of the boar. Okay, I'm gonna do I. Can I get the boar to run away if I yell at him? Give me an intimidation check. Okay. And it, I mean, it already looks sort of I'm gonna spooked. scream at him. Um, that is oh not my 20. God. <laughs> uh, okay, and I'm gonna like, I can't do anything, but I'm gonna like kneel like over Ilya and pop in the potion okay, now so that I, I can think now, um, deal with him. Uh, I think that's gonna be pretty much everything there. Um, so I'll, I guess I'll ask this. 
the other foot soldiers are fleeing. Um, you can no longer catch the goblin leader. Um, so, do you wish to pursue the foot soldiers? Or are you letting them scatter into the bushes? Uh, I'm just gonna try to heal Ilian. Okay, so you're I'm ready. Gonna... Ilian can't tell. Um, Doxley and Kate. No. Not uh, pursuing. I, is there uh, is one within range for me this act like this turn? What is your range? Uh, I mean, like certainly within distance. They're forty feet away from you. Um, I wouldn't mind using my turn to try to pick pick one or two off. Sure. Okay. Um, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we'll just do that, I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like the closest one. This yeah, one here. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Nat 20, let's go. <laughs> yeah, oh my nice. god. Share some with me, please. <laughs> um, that and nice. pierce your feet, so when I score a critical hit that deals piercing damage to a creature, you can roll one additional damage die. Wow. Determining the extra mm, piercing. Very nice. Oh wow, that's a nasty when determine, Oh yeah, okay. Uh, when determining the extra, oh okay, this is worded. Double by. the damage and then add another die, because right. we do it slowly. Okay. Yeah. So double the damage first. Max roll. Baby! This guy's getting Over eviscerated. Uh, and then you get to roll another. 12, so 12. Plus 4, so 16 plus. Plus another die. Oh 20 my god. Damage. I mean, the dude gets Jeez. torn uh, asunder. Yes. Here you go, Doc. Oh! oh god. Finds the light right between his eyes. And oh, but it's not over. I have a second attack, and I not oh, hell yeah. try to get that last dude. Sure, give me another one. Yes. Is this your They're special fleeing in the bushes. Oh! 22 to hit. hit. Nice. Hell yeah. Five. Five plus uh, four, nine. On the retreat. Five. <laughs> <Seriously? laughs> Two of them go down, another oh, one. Oh, great. Uh, that was also my javelin of, of patience, so that was extra damage there at the end. But they're dead. Those two that you fired wow. are both down, yeah. Uh, would you like to apply the potion? Yes, go ahead I and roll will. for the potion. Oh, no, Ill. That's fine. It's Three plus, what are we at? Plus two. two. Plus two, so five. five. Huge. <sighs> <I'm>, uh, inconsolable. <laughs> and as TC sort of gets up to his feet, you're in the bushes, you push some of the brush away, and you look off for where the boar is sort of disappearing between. Daisy. Are we, are we done? a little bit of time, you yeah, kind yeah, of move around, yes. you're able to locate Daisy. You're good? Um, oh. um, um I just want to go home. Yes, let I just us, want to yes. Go home. I was not able to fell him on his retreat. Faded my bolts to the last. What was that? Fuck. He had that magic th th thing. Run into so much magic. It says uh, a lot today. Let's get like back like to the city. <laughs> 250 <laughs> gold is not enough. Her? A per leader. No, for both. For both? But no. for each of us? Probably no. not. <laughs> Probably fuck the total. fucking Murkall. Yeah, Cheap bastards. And I feel bad because even with weapons, you know, all those poor goblins and Brunk Hollow. <sighs> we should go see if we can find those goblins that ran off so they know that they owe the hell out of us. I'm sure they're, they're long, long gone. gone. You don't see any of them. I mean, they dove, they dove in the water, ran across the little creek there. But we can leave the goblin bodies if they want to come and take their swords. Can I, I'm, I'm gonna look for my javelins and then can we get on with this fucking day? I need my hammer. Do I, either of you two need any healing? I have my healing kit. I'm, I I also have a healing kit. Kate I, and Ilian. I mean, if it's not too much to ask, I would, but if we're close to home, I'll just rest. But. And actually, it was like oh, a few okay. seconds to bandage up. And... Yeah. Kate, you, you look as though you could use, come here. I'm gonna bandage you up a and little I'll bit. And I'll do a yeah. You do, on. so. It doesn't do any hit points, but it, you are now, you can get rid of your failed death saving throw. Oh. <laughs> I'll keep my success just because it made me happy. <laughs> Successes oh, do reset. It's bandage. just failures oh, that don't reset. <laughs> Bullshit. Do I I'll, find all my javelins? You do. Yeah. Right. Half of you know. My, uh, yep. You can recover half the bolts. Um, I feel owed after this. Excuse me. I'm gonna go try to sift through their belongings and see if I can find any gold or anything. Give me an investigation check. Okay. Oh, speaking of gold, I'm gonna give Doxley her a hundred and then. Oh, you three you. get a hundred gold. Some scattered coins, we'll say they have ten, ten gold kind of okay. b between all of them. Um, that's, that's, I can't remember what this for. Healing in addition, are 60. 
I'm gonna go up and give 60 to Doc's. Uh, 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 um. I believe you wanna give it to him. Wait, well, it, oh. is, it is 100 between all of you. Wait, what? Uh, We're talking about two different things. Take a step back. Yes. This okay. 100 gold that you would. Between you. the three of you. Yes, you each get. We split a oh, hundred. Correct. Goals. That is what Bison said. For what? For for doing today? whatever happened with today. Bruno for giving him information about the stash. So 33, 33, 34. Who wants the 34? Oh, for fuck's sake! I'll take it. <laughs> All right, you can have 34. I'll take 33. And you just gave me 60. Mm-hmm. In addition, as you're rummaging through oh. the goblins, why did he, she give you sixty? Because Shouldn't she have given it because no. health. Potion. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> gave that. his. That's why I tried. Then I yeah. love it. You find a little crumpled note in the pocket of one of the goblins. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alien, do you give me anything for the health potion? <laughs> I. Alien said I'm hundred percent kidding. I'm hundred percent kidding. Um, I know at you know. At first, I used I her health potion yourself. first. Yeah. So I'm in debt one hundred twenty gold. Yeah. So I actually bought both of those health potions. Don't worry about it. Wait, what? The, health, the other health potions. We'll tabulate oh. that. Oh my god. <laughs> You're right. So I have 180 gold in debt. <laughs> uh, hey guys, um, found this in uh, one of their pockets. It says, Why do Will Creek, sounds like another goblin, and Patty Pitter Patter want the new recruits? Take a turn in the quarry. This sounds like a joke. Are you leaving? No, this is no, this is real. <laughs> what do you call? Oh, yeah, Patty Bitter Batter. <laughs> uh, uh, new recruits to take a turn in the quarry. Nothing good left down there. Makes me suspicious. I hate suspicious. I'm sorry. Who did you take this from just now? Probably someone. I have one of these goblins. Right, this guy right here, and Will Creek and Patty Pitter Patter want to the new recruits to take a turn in the quarry. The uh, but there's apparently nothing down there, uh, whatever that means. No, there's the fucking Chewinga whatever down there. Well, I don't know if they're talking about Bison's yeah. quarry. This could be a different... This would different probably... Way. Isn't it Clark Barks that they're after? Is that a quarry? Well, it sounds like the new recruits are people joining the rebellion. There's not their... I, I mean, I could be reading that wrong. G give me that. There you go. <laughs> I can't understand you when you mumble. Bitter powder? Mumble. Why do you? I just, why do Will Creek and Patty Pitter Patter want the new recruits to take a turn? What happens when Patty Pitter Patter and Will <laughs> Creek walk into, into a bar? Patty Pitter Patter walks into a bar. Yeah. Exactly. Seems Will and Patty know something that the rest of them didn't. Yeah. Okay. If we wish to, oh, well, maybe we can show that to Clark Bark or Hank Honk in town, and they'll know. It is the truth. That sounds like it's a better option than us trying to figure it out. Faced against. That goblin leader who had all that mysterious magic. I looked him in the eyes and I yelled, Chawinga, Chawinga, Chawinga. And there was no recognition. I don't know what and the f what fuck that means. What? I, I doubt. Chawinga, Chawinga, Chawinga. That those go any goblins have been able to language. make it down into that room. There's no way. No. Bison and his men would have been keeping goblins out of there for weeks now. But maybe they have a suspicion that there's something in there of value. This is Brunk, although there's bound to be more than just there's one. There's many of them, right? This is I don't think that is a the statue. Different goblins quarry. Let's not reminisce on it. Can we just maybe go and present it to Hank Honk or yeah. someone that might actually know about it? What's going on? Sure. Yes. Yeah, we need to talk to Hank Honk. <laughs> oh man, I don't think the well is on the table today. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little tapped. Yes. It'll still be there tomorrow. I hope so. Is it gonna if rain? meteors don't come down from this freaking sky. Morning. The sky is quite dark, and again, you hear that rumble of thunder, but no moisture in the air. Again, it's, it's like kind of a dry storm. What does that mean? <laughs> 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 yeah. Trying to make a divination check on the DM? What does that mean? I mean, it's not unprecedented. There's dry storms. Dry storms it doesn't exist. Right. It's not, what is not that? necessarily magical base. Morna's gonna. Uh, a tur like oh sort of wander God. into the bushes so that just as if she's oh looking for a goblin corpse. Can I and just mess. do a little? Can I look at Morno? At least see if I catch that. I mean, she's just sort of doing her prayer. You've seen her do that. You've seen me do it. <laughs> uh, Morno, what was that? You said magic. No, 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 Ilian. And then yes. <laughs> Because it was the Chewingas. I didn't. I just bubbled Chewingas. What the hell is a Chewinga? That's what I just told you. We're in the fucking quarry. Oh, oval face creatures. Yes. Chewinga. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. 
Why are you two fighting She's in the like, bushes? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for a goblin. I'll, I'll come on. If there's like kind of a, a commotion going on, come on. I'll make my way over there and kind of put myself between you and Morna. Like, Ilian, give her some space. I, she comes out of the bushes. She's like, I, I was looking for goblins. I. Let's go. Whatever. We'll talk about it more later, I'm sure. So much magic. Are you okay? I'm great. I didn't take a single lick. Nice. I'm happy to hear that. <sighs> Where'd you get that drink? I don't from? know. I bought it. I bought it that one time. And so I just figured I would start drinking. Oh, get some more. Does don't anybody just... want some? Yeah. One of the goblins yes. had it. Yeah, I did. Yes, please. Some like gross goblin swill. Like, it, yeah, nah. Yes, old. I would like. It. It's I the am... only lip of the Sorry. bottle I've ever washed. I'll top me off first, like a true lady. Oh Sorry, Elle. You guys walk a little bit and uh, DC does not. Yeah, yeah. No, she, Morna wants it. The throbbing <laughs> in her head is. Yeah, it's pretty rubbing alcohol-esque. Like, ah. it, it's pretty, comes on pretty strong. <laughs> oh. It's um, not bad after like the fifth or sixth one. Oh. Please. Do you even know that that was for imbibing? <laughs> nope. That could have been a a salve for, for Sabbath's <laughs> Or like a following fluid or something. Yes. Do it again. Fuck, that's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> Thanks, Morn. Yeah. I appreciate You're it. not really going for I thirds. guess that goblin had <laughs> cups, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Perhaps little, we should yeah, little mosey <laughs> yes. out of the storm. <laughs> Get a cute little curio. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, start can to we walk. please go? Yes. Yeah, away go. from uh, <laughs> Hockaday's past. And from this point forward, very much familiarity and instinct are your guides, just as much as the road itself. The sloping terrain, the brook where the Gricks attacked, the trees thinning, all of this is a precursor to hitting the edge of the forest as it will start to give way to Detention Pass. This entire time that dry thunder hasn't ceased, though it hasn't been growing in intensity either, almost like the skies just occasionally want to remind you that they could do something if they wanted to. The air down at ground level has not been so restrained, however. And more than once, a mighty gust comes blowing through the valley, kicking up leaves and dirt, causing loose clothing to kind of flap vigorously around you until it slows and passes. Where normally you might be able to see like shaking leaves in the distance to prepare you for the oncoming gusts, these ones happen very suddenly and violently, almost like they're coming down at an angle from above. Like you'll just see the top of a tree wave a little bit and then what is happening? And this kind of happens over and over. Nothing that's sort of harmful, but each time you feel the sort of push of the wind, TC who's up on Daisy at this point, your horse kind of gets his head out of the way of the wind each time it blows just to protect itself from the force of the gales. With each assertive draft, you long more and more for the cozy confines of somewhere like the Paramount or the Chop House. But as you trudge along the path toward Detention Pass, you are greeted with a series of sharp snapping noises. And you look ahead to see branches that are bowing and bending at an unprecedented angle, saplings being partially torn up so their roots are exposed, and it's all a part of another giant gust of wind that comes in so strong that like little belongings of yours kind of go off and you have to go grab them. You have to hold your weapons tight to your body, your cloaks. And it passes. These all been going in the same direction, like coming, or is it vaguely? It's not like all clearly coming from yeah. one direction. Okay. It kind of comes this way, and then this yeah. way, and this way. All right. You go forward a little further, and once again. <gasps> Fuck! If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is an omen of. Shut up! Shut yeah! Shut the. Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> each Just time a little. Each time a little more of those. You can see branches, loose ones, kind of flying through the air, catching on other trees and getting stuck in the shrubs. <sighs> the rest of your walk continues, and the rumbling overhead kind of continues on. A couple more of these giant blasts come through. 
sometimes like so strong they could knock you over that you have to kind of dig your heels in. I'm like leaning down and yeah. Daisy here like hanging on. I'm also gonna healing start. Sure. I'm gonna healing start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Anybody who has it left, surge him if you got him. I don't need it. Uh, Oh my god, it's a one. Um, it's a one. <gasps> Max, hell yeah. The closer you get to detention pass, the more the rumbling overhead seems to slow ever so slightly. The winds continue to come, but it seemed like you hit the whatever that apex, the strongest point of the winds, and now as they come through, <sighs> they subside ever so slightly. As you glance around, all of your companions kind of have that disheveled, wide-eyed look of like a dog that just came out of the bath. Like hair in a nest, belongings sort of shifted, clothing off-center, askew. The damage to the forest around you is certainly not irreversible, but it is substantial. Branches have broken off of trees, little plants have been uprooted. You can see animals that are like cowering in knots in the trees, like squirrels and things, like this giant sort of torrent of air blowing through the downwheel here. Does it, uh, can I ask, mm -hmm. where we were when it was like kind of really at intense, its strongest, at yeah. its strongest, we noticed the branches and stuff breaking. Mm -hmm. Now that we're not past it, but it's calmed down a little bit, is there evidence that it was similar here or does it seem like it was only bad where we were? No, there's evidence here too. At okay. least where the there's branches and leaves okay. askew and crap, crack so broken the, all over them. Which evidence that the worst of it was a duration, not a space. Possibly, yeah. Okay. You, the, the reasonable assumption. All right. When you finally reconnect with the tension pass, the first thing that you hear is, pull, followed by a group of people mm, straining until, <laughs> a large wagon settles back onto its wheels. It looks like it literally tipped over during the winds that blew through here. Mm -hmm. With all the hats and scarves and gloves and assorted belongings that are scattered along the road, it looks like a parade came through here and all the trash has been left lying. Like people's, again, like garments are just all scattered throughout the past from the wind that came through. Mm -hmm. It was hard to tell when you were struck by them just how localized the gales were. You weren't sure if it was, like you said, just that little spot or if it was sort of a wider, almost like a swirling hurricane kind of effect. But it does seem now like the area of effect was expansive enough to at least encompass part of Brunk Hollow itself. I mean, you're getting very, very close. Before you get to the town limits, you find yourselves thinking about Josie's crane teetering on the oh. edge of that mining pit. And you wonder whether or not it was quite as severe up in the hills there. That'd be bad. For all its relative freedom or lawlessness, depending on how you look at it, Broncolo's thoroughfare has always had a kind of organized chaos to it. A general understanding of personal space, lanes of travel for carts and horses, designated spaces for fixtures like the market. But right now, as you come into the edge of town from the east, that organized chaos has devolved into utter disarray. Goods are strewn about, horse reins are tangled, traffic is stalled, and some windows are even broken mm. from things bashing against them or the force of the wind, scattering pieces of glass around the thoroughfare. There's a lot of misdirected anger as people try to collect their things or corral their animals. Get out of, get out of my way! I got it, I got it! Like people, everyone trying to collect. Some people are like running after stuff on the ground. He's like, hey, that's mine, that's mine! Hey, get out! Get, like, there's just a lot of chaos right now in the thoroughfare. The buildings are still very much intact, though there's a smattering of shingles and snapped off shutters littering the street, anything that was sort of loosely flapping in the wind. And the open market in particular is an absolute shambles, because that was just little kind of wooden rods yeah. holding up, you know, awnings and stuff, so that has collapsed completely in the thoroughfare. Mm. On the porch of Paramount, Bassett Clemens looks like he's sweeping and kind of shaking his head in disbelief, like he's sweeping off dirt and kind of other people's stuff off of the porch of the Paramount there. Sometimes he stops to point out a rogue article. So your hat then. And as you look around, that's pretty much what the town is kind of doing, sort of recovering from that blast. Now, from where you were to now, it's probably been about 30 minutes, like you were a little further up. So it's been about half an hour that, that, that the strongest parts of the wind came through. So you're looking at the disarray here. Marna. Yes. Does this, uh what you call it, agitation magic? 
Abjuration, yes. That one. Yes. Does it have any control over weather? I honestly don't know. But this does, as Ilian says, seem don't. a bit. It could be like a coincidence. Well, I don't like the timing. Perhaps. Not from the abjuration magic, but from the disturbing beyond the wood outside of Roncall. No, I don't think it's that. <laughs> It'll be fine. <sighs> I'm going to take Daisy back. Oh, you've grown so attached to her. I'm sorry, Mr. Walker. As you take a few more steps forward, again, sort of looking to your left and right, all the people picking pieces out of the street, getting their carts upright, stacking crates that had fallen over. You do see that Bassett sort of sees you coming and, Afternoon! Were you caught out in all that nonsense? Indeed we were. The valley does have its winds, but that was something else. Glad to see you all with two feet still on the ground. Yeah. Unprecedented, would you say? Yeah. Like I said, the valley does have its winds, but that strong, that is something new. Came along so suddenly. I think along those along the water got it the worst because of the way the river sort of acts as a wind tunnel. Can't even imagine what the tent communities look like right now. Uh, sort of think about the goblins and the gnomes. Yeah. Like Those structures were pretty decently put together, but for the strength of those winds, like that could be in a complete mess right now. From where we're walking in, Am I able to see, like, Maeve's water wheel? Oh, give me a perception check. Ooh. You can kind of look down the, uh... Oh, yeah. Six? <laughs> yeah, six. Do I see my six. clinker? <laughs> Uh, you do not, no sign of the clinker immediately. It, there's so many people in the thoroughfare yeah, that it's yeah. hard to like get a good look. You might have to sort of wander. Say the clinker? My clinker. The one who had spotted oh, Who right. was handing out the flyers from earlier. He's not there as My far clinker. As can... My clinker. Uh, forgive me for my distraction. I, I do have uh, messages for some of you mm. and uh, a proposition for all of you. <sighs> uh, nothing like that, I, I don't think. It's all right. But... Um, I have some letters. He goes, sort of quickly ducks back inside, goes to those little cubby holes and grabs a couple of things. A couple of letters and uh, the Monteros wished for me to extend an invitation to the Lucky Heathen as soon as you can. I understand that you are among the first to partake in their newest gaming tables that were installed earlier today. Uh, also, um, while the games were perhaps the pretext, I got the impression that they wished to speak with you on a different matter. Mm. But that's uh, perhaps me reading into it more than I ought to. Um, this letter came in to you, uh, ma'am. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Tyrone, one for you. Great, thank you. I'll uh, continue to sweep. Um, the Monteros did um, have a sense of urgency about them for mm. whatever reason. Which is why it struck me that perhaps it was not solely about the games. Sure. Of course. Uh, but I, I leave that to you. Um. I'm gonna to turn over to him real quick sure. as he then just out, a little bit out of earshot of them mm -hmm. and to the, um, have you seen Mrs. Maury come out at all? She came down at one point, I believe, with the intention to eat, though she seemed unsatisfied by our kitchen's current offerings, not to her liking. She took the air a couple of hours ago and she's yet to return. Thank you. I'm gonna go clean up uh, and I'm gonna head to the Monteros after a bath. I'd be happy to have y'all join me. In the bath? Both, <laughs> the bath and the Monteros DC. All right, I'm off. Uh, I will, yes, meet you in an hour or so. I'm going to take Daisy back. Sorry, Mr. Walker. I need my 75 gold back. Meet at the Monteros in an hour? Very well. I'm gonna immediately head out the door and, and start, like, walking through the thoroughfare looking for my mom. I do so. Where's everybody else headed? Elaine <laughs> headed inside. Morna as well. We're heading inside. No, I'm oh, taking okay. Daisy oh, back. Oh, taking Daisy back, yep. She's taking the dogs. Uh. I'll start heading towards my room. Into the Paramount as well. 
Do I see Doc's like... <laughs> she looks like she's reading you a letter. Just, uh, being very intense. Struggling <laughs> to read. <laughs> Doc's is a slow reader. <laughs> as soon as everyone's gone, the. <laughs> Good news? Yeah, the best. I'm sorry to hear that. You okay? <laughs> I, GC had started to, to turn. I'll be all right. I probably need to go get another one of those healing potions that we uh, administered. Morna had mentioned some kind of a deal if we bought ten, seeing as how we've ingested probably half of their stock today. That might be a good thing to do. We'd each have to buy two. I suppose I could swing that if everybody's on board. I am. <laughs> that, yeah. All right. Well, maybe I'll hold off before ever we talk to everyone, but tomorrow morning I'll definitely want that for my leg. You're good to get up the stairs? See you in a bit. Are you all right? Yes. Shuffle my way up the stairs. As soon as TC leaves your presence, the sweeping... Oh my God. Clemens. <clears throat> the um, letter for you came in after a visit from Mr. Voigt, who was uh, one of Ms. Navo's associates. He asked after both you and Mr. Claiborne, to which I simply responded that you both had left separately this morning <sighs> and that I did not know your whereabouts. Thank you. Great kindness. And I, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably about between, like, it's probably about five o'clock. Okay. You I miss will, your meeting. I will go. <laughs> oh, seriously. And like bath and stuff. And that is where we're gonna end tonight. Uh, Returning uh, to town. After a long day in the down wheel. I don't like the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. My least favorite yeah, weather. Wind. That's just Kate the... both doesn't like the wind and it doesn't like searching for her mom in the wind. Oh. <laughs> Kate, that wind oh is just gosh, the wrath yeah, of a mother who's How been about... I mean the wrath of a mother who is ignored when she doesn't oh want to be. Oh my god, yeah. Can that's, move. That's can move that's be like Kate, Kate level. It is yeah. windy here. <laughs> you have to leave. <laughs> You'll catch Kate. a cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She cast wind on you. That's where we're gonna end for tonight. Fun. Well done. Oh everyone. gosh. Mysteries abound. Back in town. Safety the confines oh, boy. of the Paramount. Y'all remember when I good. couldn't seal the deal on that fucking goblin? Yeah, oh. I do remember. That, that. I do recall something yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe it's a bunch of goblins that knocked two of us out. A lot, a, lot day. Day. a lot of them. It was a lot of. Day. Isn't it good? I cast lightning bolt on all those little fuckers. <laughs> I mean, it was very cool. All right, mahi maxi, mahi mahi, get uh, get oh. Wow. <laughs> the. <laughs> that goblin juice, baby. Yeah. Mahi mahi, boxer gifted a sub. Helljack ninety three bits. Chowinga. Um, Ali Slayer eleven bits. Texas beer junkie resubscribe. Thank you, Dark Wolf. Woo. -hoo. Subscribe with Prime. Mahi mahi gifted a sub. Helljack one twenty eight bits. Mahi mahi two more subs. Come on, mahi mahi. five community subs. Helljack two ninety two. Chowinga. The goodies three hundred bits. Mahi mahi uh, sub. Jay Brownie five hundred bits. Came on clay behind. 150 bits, Mahi Mahi, two more the subs, Helljack 146, Joey Mahi Mahi Boxer, gifted a sub, Wiz Renning, give out community sub, and then Helljack 113 Holy bits, cheer wow. Winga. Cheer Winga. Enjoy a little bit of goblin swill of your own. Oh, mm. delicious. It burns. It burns. <laughs> and that's for real. Oh, oh, man. Oh my gosh. Hey, join wow. us in that Discord where you can talk about this episode without spoiling it. Everybody's yes. gonna be there. Oh, true. She is. 
gee, tell us what we did wrong, all that <laughs> stuff. A little more information about the greater ongoing goblin conflict. Yeah. I would say also, uh, as a, this is something you guys would know, you were talking about the bounty for that goblin contract. Um, you have already seen evidence that they've bumped contracts up that have not been paid. Like you, yeah. you brought back the wolves or something and they had oh, already bumped it up. Right. So the more the conflict grows, the potential, the payout might oh, be larger. Oh, give it a day or two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I really oh, let oh, this oh, shit oh, get fucked up. It was good you didn't get them then. We'll get more gold. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. Let it, yeah, inflation, like the housing market. <laughs> you gotta, seller, the seller's what market. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the. The, exactly. <laughs> It's wrong to do. I owe $180 worth of money. This dude's spending money he ain't got. Oh, uh, yeah. It's hey, you can go to Lucky Heathen and gamble it all back. <gasps> oh, my God. New it's games. New oh, games. games. Oh, that's a good point. Are, are you seriously the only on one? Bed, but maybe I'll take it to the Heathen. <laughs> <laughs> you have like 30 gold. Or but does, do the no, rest have of us have. I have now. Do the rest of us have a hundred, but like each. I have more. I have to do some math, gold. but yeah, I think so. Uh, I apologize. It might be worth it to off for us to all have two I health apologize. potions. Apologize. <laughs> 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 oh, all right, everybody. Oh, have a wonderful night. Oh, have a wonderful over. week. I know it's already over. It always goes. Don't get so caught in the wind. Don't get caught in the wind. We'll see you next Sunday, same time. We love you all. Goodbye. 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 Yay, we didn't die. <laughs>